I guess he doesn't want to curse today, huh? No? <laughs> Fuck him. Hey, wow. this is the Dr. Green Thumb Show right here on YouTube and um, Twitch and Discord. I'm Dr. Green Thumb. Hello. And to my right, the lit one, C minus. What up, up everyone? In the fucking house. All right. Hola. And we got very special guests today, Ming. You know what I'm saying? We got two representatives of the Vargas family, um, OG Fernando Vargas, oh, Vargas over there, and Amado. What's Hijo. up, B? What's good? What's Word good? Word up! Welcome to the fucking show. Thank you. I got secondhand smoke. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, infected. Um, yeah. I'm on a test positive, and yeah, we. I don't know, I'm gonna blame you, Otto. You blame it on me, dog. Okay, okay. It's put, like put COVID. It on me. I'm not pointing <laughs> the finger, but I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> just said, you know what? It just, just, it's a real simple. Like oh, I was hanging out with B. I was hanging out with B. Oh, okay, ah, I get it. Got it. Okay, you know, that's an excuse. Uh, I'm, I'm the one they could blame all the time. That works. <laughs> Uh, up in the treehouse, we got Bolton Blombo Bra Bra, and the Dominator is around there somewhere. What's up, guys? You know, I'm baking back being boo. Yes, I'm wearing that boo boo today. I'm sure you don't appreciate that. Yeah, you're that, rocking but... that flu boo. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Blot. Does that technically count? What? If it's navy blue? Yeah, the oh. all blue. Yeah, to us, all it variations? all counts. Yes. Yes, all variations. Yeah. Really? Back in my time, yes. I'm glad you guys don't color. Where you know who I banged with, no, <laughs> no blue was allowed. <laughs> like um, if you knew your crayons, bro, yeah. like, there'd be so many colors you can't Damn. wear. That's right. <laughs> and speaking of which, we got fucking E Zone, Malparido in in the house. What's up? Yeah, What's going on, everybody? Here? Yeah. It's good to have you guys here. You know, because what we have in common is that uh, you know we are doing Triller May 14th. Yeah, man. A fight and a fight. Yeah, mm. man, you guys are going to be performing and my boys are going to be fighting. That's right. I can't wait. It's going to be dope. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Old school. Yeah, me, my, my two other brothers, we're going to be fighting. And uh, it's going to be my U.S. debut. I had three fights um, on Mexico. I'm 3 0 with two knockouts. And, uh, you know, now I'm going to be 4 0. Um, That's right. And uh, coming uh, May 14th, Triller, Triller Fight Club. We in the building, baby. Let's get it. I like the forecast. You know what I'm saying? Like saying, I'm going to get this. Yeah, you got to think that Have way. To. You can't think, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it or I'm right. going to do it. No, man. Just like you knew you were going to be right. a bad motherfucker and, and you know, and a rapper. You knew you were going to make it. That's the right. The same thing is that, you know, the, the, the boys know the same thing. You know what's crazy is that we talk about this shit on this show a lot. It's like manifestation of the yeah. shit that you say to yourself and, right. and what you believe that you say to yourself. So if it's a positive thing, you could have a positive thing happen if you believe in that shit. If you start doubting yourself, well, I don't know if I or I might or maybe. Right. You're already, you're already, messing already up. Already fucked. You're you got to fucking go in like your boy right, right. here saying, I'm going, I'm coming out for it. For all, no. all three of them that are fighting are your sons? Oh, uh, my, my three boys, Fer El Feroz Fernando Vargas Jr., Amado El Malvado Fernando Vargas, El General Emiliano Fernando Vargas. So all three of them are fighting, um, and they're the all they're, they're all fighting at the forum yep. May 14th, and Emiliano's you know just gonna be turning 18 in a few days on the 16th, and uh, you know he's gonna be you know having his pro debut May 14th. Nice on right, your birthday. Like, my my youngest brother is oh have, on his birthday. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna have his birthday. He's sacrificing. You know what I'm saying? The kid works hard, and you know it's gonna show. Yeah, uh, he's, he's gonna show on May fourteenth. All three Vargas brothers on, on one other card. It's, it's gonna be crazy, and yeah, you know, we come from rato, and we come from our dad. <laughs> you know, our dad. You 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 may have seen my, you may have seen my dad's fight. You know, uh, some with uh, 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 Oscar De La Hoya and you know Felix Trinidad. All those big fights. wars. My fight. My dad has fought nothing but the the best. 
Yes. And, yes. and my dad has never backed down from nobody. So people Real know shit. people know Vargas. They they know what's up. There's so. no backing down in the name Vargas. So you know correct. What I'm correct. I see. I seen all your fights. I, you know, we came up together like that. You <laughs> right. know what I mean? Well, you were fighting. We were on tour. Yeah, you were. And and doing our thing. But we made sure we watched all your fights no, because you, we knew what we were gonna see. Yeah. Yep. Is you putting it on the line every time, right. all heart. That's it. And you know, like to see your boys like taking that mentality, yeah. Try, be, like trying to be their own men. Yeah, right. no, you know what no, I mean. Right. But like taking that piece of the heart and like pushing forward. That's fucking did, awesome. Did you guys start off boxing at the same age? You know how like when there's like certain 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 sports like Tiger Woods. Like I, I've been doing this since three years old. Did you did you start them all at the same age? Like, no. I, tres, putazos, I didn't. No. I didn't know I'd be. I didn't even know I'd be a professional boxer to be honest. Um, my dad has never forced me, bro. You know what I'm saying? My dad has never forced me to never put a pair, any of them. To, to put a pair of gloves in my life. You know, I've always been in certain sports, football, basketball. I've always been athletic. So, you know, my dad opened up a boxing gym. My youngest brother started competing. I started seeing all this tournaments. He started winning, becoming ranked number one in the, in the U.S. and all this crazy stuff. So I decided, I, do that I, I, decided to, I decided to just, you know what, I'm going to put on the gloves. What, when did you feel like you had what it takes? Um, when I started beating these top people in the United States with my first year of fighting. Hmm. My, yeah. first, my, first couple, my first year, um, you know, I had, a, I had my first couple fights uh, as an amateur when I was younger. Um, and, uh, I started competing at a uh, high caliber, which is like a USA boxing, you know, people that have over 50, 60, a hundred fights. Um, and I started beating these dudes. Right. And, you know, I was like, damn, like, it's not just, it's not just, it's really in the blood. You were you know doing I mean? the, and, I, and, and I'm you were able, doing the work. And, I, and I'm able to, and I'm able to beat these top people. So I know at the end of the day, it's not just the last name. Like it's I could, I, I. I could fight. You felt like so. I know at the end of the day, I could compete at the highest level, and I'm just listening to my pops, man. My my dad knows. Yeah. My dad knows this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, he he knows what's good. He knows what not to do, and he knows what to do because he's or he already lived. He's been. He already it. lived through it. Yeah. So it's a blessing to have my dad in my corner. Yeah, man. I mean, that's everything. Like a support system, you know, like your father. That's everything, man. And and to have the natural talent and the want for it, I mean, and the belief. Because right. more important, it's like you said, when when we were doing the other shit earlier, you said you believed in yourself, yeah. even if anybody didn't. Yeah. And that's fucking everything. Because yeah. if you don't believe in you, yeah, who the fuck who's the going to believe in you? Right. And you know, it's crazy. People say like, oh, like, you know, my dad is who my dad is. And, you know, people will always try to compare me to my dad. But you know what? Each fight, I will show the people like, okay, this kid can actually yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I, we're all... I, I'm so blessed to be in this position where I'm able to show the fight fans yeah. like that I'm able to show people like I can actually fight and that's my like kind of edge like oh you don't think I'm there okay yeah. watch May 14 you know what I'm saying yeah but yeah. I'm excited I'm excited I know you got to be excited like as <laughs> as someone that that you know supported them but didn't necessarily drive them to this yeah it's man it's got to be exciting you for so, you. so 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 my compadre frankie casavetti said it best you know when when he said champ you don't want your kids to fight i said no he goes champ you, you don't want your kids to fight he goes, no okay well champ who's gonna tell your kids they can't be like their dad because i'm not gonna tell them when he put it like that i said i gotta support him Right, you know, so I'm gonna be there 100 step on the way. You know, I didn't have that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that that I'm there 110 percent and and everything. You know what I mean? So make sure they don't, you know, they they just do the right, not the bad. You know right, I mean? and, and understand that you know there's a lot of things that in boxing where you know you can get caught up if you're not if, if you're not focused in this game. Right. And if you, you don't have the right guide, you don't have the right guide. You don't have people that are people that are just trying to bleed you instead of you know benefit you. You know, at the end of the right. day, that's you know that's boxing for you. Look, yeah. anything you do outside of the sport of boxing, like if you smoke, if you drink, if you're out with women, it will show in that ring. Yeah. With women yeah. too? What? Yeah, so yeah. Was, I don't. I don't have sex a month before the fight and, at all. A and, month. And people always wonder about that no, shit, and, but and, it's and, real shit. And it's real shit. I, I don't, I don't, have, mean, I don't know, do no, 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 nothing. Touch nothing. I can't. I can't because it weakens the legs. And at the end of the day, it's an edge. A you month. Know? 
a month minimum. You have, yeah. to, sacrifice. You have to take oh. care of yourself. That, it's crazy because some some boxers didn't follow that shit. Like, and you could see when when, when they ain't got no legs. When they got no legs, and they start spaghetti <laughs> legs. What the hell is really going on? When you see that, you know, oh, this fucker fucked yeah. the night before. <laughs> yeah. Especially in sparring, it's like my dad would know. Like, all right, this dude is messing around. Yeah. Like, or this and that. I'll see it right I can't away. Li- I can't lie to my dad. Okay, we, we're gonna we're gonna spar today. All right, let's see how much rounds you're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah. See where you hey, at because it's something it's put it, it this way right it so, makes you tired so it's like this right and i know this this has to happen to every boxer when your trainer is telling you hey no fucking sex before this that and the other and if you're young enough and you don't know any better and you don't have the god you're like Psst. and then you and then you experience what happens right it's similar in our world with the cannabis shit when they said hey Here's this edible brownie. Only eat half of it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I did that shit one time. And then, you know, just like, so, so my brother in law, Mikey, um, you know, uh, my brother in law, Mikey, you know, he loves weed. He, he loves weed. And so one time, a long time ago, <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm at my, my sister's house in Bakersfield. And so, um, he he goes. Hey, you ever tried an edible? I go. I don't do that. That shit is that shit is garbage. What are you talking about? I don't do that stuff. And he goes. <laughs> he, goes he goes. You want to try? He goes. Come on. How bad could it be? He says, Come on. So he he goes here. Grab grab a piece. You know he left the the brownie right there, right? And he goes. Just grab a piece. I ate the whole brownie. Oh, blown. Oh, blown. Yeah. God. Gato, I was fighting with the with with with, with the with the toilet. Stop the like, fight. Like there was, like I had demons chasing me. I had, uh, I, I was in a different world. That's Throw it in the towel. Your face was like moving like this, and, and I go, "What in the world is going on here?" He goes, "You ate all of it." I go. I ate all of it. And I go but at first I was like, that, that ain't shit. <laughs> Give me that shit. And I ate it. And he goes, You ate all of it? I go, Yeah, that shit ain't gonna do shit. I have a high tolerance. Cause when I used to drink, I used to, you know, it took a while for me to, to get drunk and you know, because <laughs> I had a high tolerance in that. So I'm thinking, same shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I was I was, hey. I was, I was I was seeing monkeys. I was seeing a bunch of shit. But that speaks to the lesson, right? Yeah. When someone tells you, "Hey, don't do that shit. Don't Only do this." Do this. Sh- yeah. It's the same thing with yeah, with, boxers, the, with like, boxers. Like, hey, don't be fucking around with the chicks before the fight. And then, and then they think like, you know, they're out there drinking and fucking around. And I'm like, and then I go, "Okay, well, it's time to spar." He goes, ah, "I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay, you didn't fuck around. You didn't go and dick around." And he goes, "No. All right. <laughs> I'm in the ring. Wait, wait, tired, Vato." Why are you tired, Vato? And then the truth then comes. I just try to live the most cleanest <laughs> life. It's not saying we're gonna be perfect. Nah, but no one is. You know what I'm saying? You gotta just leave. You gotta. You gotta live a clean life. If not, you're getting fucked up, and that's just what it is, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you're gonna it's take stuff, the- it's stuff, hurt business, bro. I'm here yeah. to hurt you. Yeah. And and, and if somebody, could hurt, this is what I, my dad tells me. You know, we spar and I'll be we be hurting people, whatever. Be like, and then he goes, Vato, if they could do it to you, they would. Yeah. <laughs> and if they could whoop your that, ass, that, they would. Hey, that's true. true. If they could uh, kick your ass, they're gonna do it. Hey, in training camp, many of many motherfuckers got yeah. blocked by their sparring partner. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's that's it's it's a common thing. And if you ain't on your shit, you it's gonna show. It's gonna show. Yep. And you know that because you, you did it for so fucking long. Yes. And it's it's cool that you take that. That that uh, approach, like it, it's just dope having the OG pops like my my dad, bro. My dad been through this shit. You yeah, know and man? all the experience. Yeah, yeah the good and the bad. Yeah. So like, you know, he knows the vibes. I'm not gonna pull a fast one on my pops, bro. Ever. My That's pops. Right. Made I'm waiting him. for you. He made the, him. I'm waiting for you with a sack lunch, bro. So <laughs> thinking in front of fast one on me. So it, it, it's come kinda, on, I'm, it, it's I'm kinda, like you. It, you're barely you're barely coming. <laughs> I've been waiting for you for a, a couple years. It's dope, on, man. man. It's dope having my dad. On, and my we're in camp. We're staying at Lomachenko's house, bro. Oh, that's dope. We're staying at our management. Uh, our management. Um, Iggy's Klimas. I- Iggy's Klimas. Shout out to Iggy's Klimas and Jose Del Cruz. And to Loma. Um, and to Lomachenko. And he, Loma he's right out now there. Lo- he's out. He's fighting out. Yeah, fighting a war. Fighting a war. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, fuck. I love. Me- I like. You know what I'm saying? I love. I just. I'm excited. We're staying out there and we're getting the. We're getting work and. It's dope, man. We're May 14th. Let's get it.
Oh man, it's 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 gonna be a, a, a war. It's gonna be a I, movie, it's bro. Gonna be a movie down there, bro. Oh, I can't wait. Cause I mean, you know, it, it's gonna be an exciting night. Absolutely. All three of your boys you guys, fighting. Do you guys remember the hardest putazos you guys ever taken? Um, from I their think, daddy. Yeah. From, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, hey, you know it's crazy. People try to people try to say, "Oh, have you ever gotten a street fight?" Right? They ask me that. I say, "Only only with my brothers, and my brothers know how to fight." Yeah. Like, that's the only people. Nobody ever tried testing me or anything like that because ain't nobody stupid to try to say, oh, Fernando Vargas, this and that. They, they'll, I mean, they'll keyboard it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what did Mike Tyson say, Dad? He's, what did he Social say? Social media made it so easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. For people to open their mouth. To talk shit, and yeah. disrespect you, and I can punch in the mouth for it. Yeah. Because I've never in Rude. my life, in my life, <laughs> has anybody ever came up to me to talk shit. No. Never. No. Now, when you're at a club, and then check this out. Crazy. Vagina shit, right? Right. Yeah. No. Yeah, vagina shit, right? They're like, at the end of the club, you're showing, you know, you're taking pictures with the fans, and they're showing love, and the females are showing love, and the the, the dudes are showing love, and then all of a sudden, like, well, you don't even know where the fuck it comes from, right? But it's like. Fuck Fernando Vargas. <laughs> like, where? It yeah. was like somebody threw their voice. He's hiding behind like, a fucking the, corner, where, dog. Where the fuck is that? Where the fuck is the yeah. at? Hey, you know, there's a whole lot of fucking finger bangers out there, dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, know? you know what I learned, bro, is whether they like you, whether they don't like you, who gives a fuck? What, it, right. Just keep doing you, bro. Right. Like, that's, that's what I learned. Day, that's and whether, well, look. Whether they like you, whether they whether they leave a good comment, whether they leave a bad comment, who gives a fuck? As long as you just keep doing what you're doing, bro, hey, bro, don't pay no mind. That's real shit right there. It's the truth. You can't give a yeah. fuck what they think. If, if you're not ready for people to talk talk shit about you or say something about you, you're not ready for success. <laughs> That's real That's shit. real shit. Because with success comes, envy. you know, the love and the envy and yep. the, the, the praise and the scrutiny. Yeah, and it did, doesn't matter what side of it you're on. You're not gonna please everybody. No, and that's something and my dad try, to call me. And if you try, you're still not gonna please everybody. No, you'll fucking drive yourself crazy yeah. trying to please everybody. Yeah, you got man. to be, you got to be good with yourself before yeah, you're man. good with anybody yeah, else. That's right, real spit. And yeah. you know when you can when you can be in that mind frame, it's hard to beat a motherfucker like that. Correct. That's straight the fuck Correct. up. And I and I feel like this too. Uh, there's a lot of boxers champions, bro. You don't really know who they are because they don't know how to speak in front of a camera, bro. All three, all me and my brothers, we're good. Like, what's up? May 14th, pull up to the fight, the forum. Like, there's people that can't speak. Yeah. I'm, I'm blessed to have charisma. My dad has charisma. Yeah. My, my oldest brother has charisma. My youngest brother. We have our own stilo, bro. Right. Like, yes, we come from our dad, Fernando Vargas. But we're not just trying to ride off our daddy. Like, oh, this is my dad. No, I'm a mother Vargas, bro. That's my youngest brother is Emiliano Vargas. He, he he's his own little stilo. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. and, we're, and we're all different, bro. <laughs> so I feel like that we have so much to give for for boxing, and we're just getting started, bro. I'm only three and zero, bro. I'm yeah. only three and zero, and yeah. I'm already sparring with top people. I'm I just got done helping before we left to camp. I was helping Shakur Stevenson get ready for Valdez. Damn. And he messaged me to, to help him get ready. And that's great experience that you're getting. You know, you can't as, put a price tag on that. Yeah, you know what I mean. I tell my boys like this: me, when I was coming up, um, I sparred great fighters. Uh, the one of the the Rafa Ruelas, and then I fought. I mean, I sparred uh, Oscar coming up to the, you know yeah. one of the Olympics. That's right. Um, and then you know I sparred Yuri Campos, world champion. And he played with me. Now, you know, we played with me when I was you know number number one in the United States going to the Olympics, and so. Just check it out. A few years later, at 21 years of age, I fight him. 21 years, five days, and you know I make him quit. So it's just an advancement. The yeah. More you, the 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 better the competition, the better you're gonna get. Yeah. You gotta be you can around get your the ass best. Kicked. You, got you can get your ass kicked, but it's gonna happen. But but if you keep on sparring with those dudes, it's gonna get you better. Yeah. You gotta get with the best. Yeah. That you can to get to to progress and get Correct. better and be better and and maybe you know get better than them and everything is Correct. the next level shit and that's that takes a lot of fucking discipline and dedication and want Absolutely. you know what I'm saying desire for that shit man you gotta have a lot of 
you know, want inside of you to 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 excel to make it in this game. You yeah. can't believe people that because your dreams are going to be too big for people yeah, sometimes. You got to tune everybody out. Yeah, tune everybody out. We're yeah. like, come on, man. Nobody's ever been famous out of out of Oxnard. Hey, you, you know, you were fighting at a time where the motherfuckers were having wars yeah. in the ring. Exactly. I mean, shit. There was some great fights. I'd be in five that. world champions. Jordi yeah. Bacampas, Raul Marquez, right. Winky Wright, I Quartel, Aver Casego. And the four that beat me didn't walk away saying it was easy because I was in their ass too. Yeah. Now imagine if my dad would have had social media back then. Oh, man. He would have been blown up with the type of shit you used to talk. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, look, I told him, like, it's a different era. You just, you, it's a different era, but my dad is still who my dad is because of what he did. But it's like, if you would have had social media. Oh, yeah. But I would only talk shit when they would talk shit. That's true. That's true. Because I want to just talk shit just to talk. You want to start no. it? No, I want to start that shit. Yeah, it was most times when they doubted your skill. Yeah. And then you, you know? and then you brought that shit That's to right. him and let him I brought, know. brought that heat, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. You know? <laughs> you think some of that uh, some of that shit they do sometimes uh during these days is real or is curated? No, nah, it's real. It's never fake. It never it, this ain't WWE. Um this is real it's shit. Real putazos. Like like real putazos and and when she like people are insulting you and then you're on the dais and and you're not gonna take it. Hey, that's why it goes down. You know, like they start going, they start just like Canelo when Canelo's gonna fight a uh, plan. That shit was real. Yeah, no faking in that shit. Yeah, there is no faking the funk when yeah, you're no in there. No when hey. you're in there, the motherfucker across from you is yeah. expected to and try to he, take your head off too. And it's then, a and, and, and then if he's you know disrespecting you and feelings get fucking, yeah. you know, you get hot. Yeah, no shit, I get hot. So, all right, motherfucker, let's go then. And then, you know, then you get down. Could it, could could you be in, you know, in jeopardizing? Could, could you jeopardize the fight? Yeah. Yeah, being you know, mad. You could, you could jeopardize the fight, but, but, no but you like, no, not canceling, but like, let's say you like, look, Killer Plant got cut a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. He, so, yeah. they could. If they could have stopped the fight. They could have been like, hey, you know, you can't do it because of the fight. Yeah, he can't. He can't. He can't. He, he's not gonna be able to fight because of the the so eye. Because of the to the because the, the shit scratch. Yeah, the cut so on the eye. He doesn't have a a hundred percent. Yeah, they could. They, they, they could have told. Yeah, they, the shit. they could have totally bailed out of that. Yeah, fight. big time. But you know, they wanted to get it. They wanted to get it. Be real. You watch boxing like that, bro? Oh man, I he's grew a up boxing to, fan. I grew up to boxing. My 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 cousin Michael Carbajal. Oh shit, was, that's my homie. Yeah, that's my cousin, bro. Oh shit, so, you know it. Runs in the family. Yeah, I did know, see. Uh, I, you know what? I did see uh, him on. Uh, you, t- you took a picture with him, and he put it on his Instagram. I did see that. Yeah, every time I go out to Phoenix, if he could come to the to the show, he comes nice. out. But yeah, I've been watching fucking That's, boxing since yeah. I was a kid, bro. Yeah. Like so. Stop. If you ever want to get some training in, bro, I'm good with the mitts, bro. Oh, you. Yeah. you might, you might, you might get a little tired. Right? I, I will. Why. <laughs> I listen. I wonder why your, listen, your lungs I might don't. be just a little bit fucked don't up. Don't underestimate me for now. <laughs> don't, don't, don't underestimate <laughs> me. I'm a tight. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, like here's the thing, right? Is is what a lot of a lot of folks don't know in hip hop shit, right? We do a lot of up tempo songs, like oh, you know, shit, fast so, BPM yeah, yeah. songs. So you got to be in shape to perform these oh, fucking okay. songs because okay. you can get wind. Ended, right so i'd be on my cardio shit like nice. i train like i used to i used to um do a lot of martial arts shit and because oh. my my family was in boxing mm. i trained that shit for a little bit too not like y'all don't get yeah. it twisted. Yeah. but yeah i could hang for a little bit but i would get tired yeah sure. yeah you know? i wonder why <laughs> not the weed, Bato, Papa. It's, it's not, not the, the weed. Bato, are you sure it's not the weed? Bro, come on. It's not the weed. <laughs> what, what is it? The smoke? It's the shrimp. It's because I don't <laughs> train as hard as you guys. What, what is it? The fucking... The, the edibles? The mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. We're going to have to have a workout challenge over yeah, there. Yeah. Let's get it. I know you're going to kick my, my ass, my, my, but I'll, my, I'll, I'll hang longer than you think. Go, I don't know you hang longer than me, but I'll Not, No, I know hang, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> and who but, knows? But, That'll be a good episode. Hey, we'll do some, we'll do some, <laughs> we'll do some pads and... And uh, me, my mother don't get, hold the pads too. I get the, down on them, bro. They be like, "Damn, bro, you should have been a padman rather than a trainer." I'm like, I'm like, "Nah, I just mess around." But you me, could do that later when you get old. Yeah. Bro. Hey, why not? Who cares? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. Teach people what you what you got, and yeah. I love it. Or, or you know, better yet, if if when you have kids, 
You know what I'm saying? And they want to get that. Better be a them. long time from now. Better right. be a long time from now, Papa Ryan. Yeah. No, hey, you cheat yeah, that shit. Correct. You're taking care of your shit. I'm taking care of mine. <laughs> I did, did that shit for since the get no, at, eight, at 18. That's, you know, it's good to pass that knowledge, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's good that he could he could be there to, to help you fine-tune shit, man. That's, that's everything. Having the right guidance. My dad it, didn't cool. have that. Yeah. And the yeah. fact that he, you know, he came out the way he came out without that guidance. That's strength I think, right there. I man. think that, you know, I, I've been serving God since I was a kid. I was 12 years old. And so from that point on, God took care of me. So he put great people in my life. I might have not had a father, but my trainer is my dad. Right. So my, I call him Hefe, Big G. He made Robert Garcia world champion, myself world champion, and Mikey Garcia world champion. Kingmaker. Was that your pops? I thought about there. Garcia, he, which is not my dad, but I call him Hefe. Because okay. he was pops. that fa- father figure. Because he was that father figure for me. Like us, Papa. Yeah, Papa. <laughs> 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 so, you know, um, yeah, that's my pops. I call him Hefe. You know, he's, so he's, he's my dad. Whenever I need advice, you know, from a man, a real fucking man that I respect, and and uh, you know the, the 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 greatest man that I've ever met was him. So like everything that he's he's just so wise, and so you know just you know lived life. So you know such an amazing life that he can give me that that experience and like those those that advice that I need at that point in time and. That's a man right there. Shout out to Hefe Big G. Shout out, man. Oh, he's like your Mick, you know, like Rocky. He's my Mick. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you son of a bitch. He never, he never, <laughs> never, around, he never, he never, he never cussed at me. He never shit on me. And yeah, and, and 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 really, I'm gonna be honest with you. If 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 Garcia was to slap me, I wouldn't say shit. You had that I much respect. How much of respect? That's like, awesome. That's like. If he was to to slap me like for something that I did wrong in my in my face, I wanted to fucking pick up my hands. I want to say shit because I love him like that. Right on, man. Hey, that's everything. A good mentor. Yeah, man. Is fucking everything. That's right. Real spit. Hey, what? How, how, like on your rope work? What's the longest amount of minutes that you did on you, my road work? Uh, rope work. Oh, rope. rope oh, okay. Um. I have done an hour and a half of double row. Fucking half. How about you? Um, I don't really. I mean, if it's there, it's there. I'll do it. But uh, I did uh yesterday. I did uh three miles under uh nineteen minutes. Shit. And how, and, and how about jumping? I'm in, dog, right? I'm in dog shape right now. Like my dad got me. He got me doing. Um, he got me do like fifteen rounds. That right. Mm-hmm. So I'll spar. I'll spar. I'll do like six rounds sparring. Then I'll do. Um. I do like five minute, uh, five rounds on the on the bag. We'll go straight. We'll go mm. like fifteen minutes we'll straight. Then we'll do some pad work. Just a double limit. A lot of people don't know. Before That's you get in that ring, you gotta condition your arms. Right. You gotta condition your legs. You know, because if you don't, you don't condition yourself. Out you're of not here. gonna be able to move like like you could be quick in the beginning rounds, and then towards the end those, you start to fade. Those gloves weigh feel like they weigh like twenty a pounds. Ton. Yeah. So my dad has me train. He, he I'm just, he's putting me in rigorous training, and you know I'm making sure that I'm doing my road work. I'm making sure I'm getting my rest. You know, and uh, man, because it's very important leading to the fight that you prepare yourself a hundred percent. Because if not. I said, I'm going to get I'm, 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 I'm get you ready about the butt. You got to do your part. You got to right. listen to what the fuck I'm telling you to do. You know? There's nothing that I did not live with this shit. I was the youngest national champion at 16, amateur, an Olympian. You know, number one at 125, 132, 149, 140, 139, 147. Come on, bro. You know? And so. You got you, knowledge. You, you, I, got, I got knowledge for days. You just give me free game, bro. Yeah, you know? Free game. Free game. Hey, there's nothing like free game. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I want to thank y'all for sitting in with us and thank taking you, this man. time to come to the building. You guys are welcome back any fucking time, you guys. And we'll keep Bye. it non-cloudy be, for you. Be, <laughs> make sure it's not be cloudy. Sure it's not cloudy. Because it won't be cloudy, Papa. We you know, I, got the, the, I don't... 
Like I came in here and I saw, uh, I couldn't see shit. Pops, you gonna get me in trouble with the commission, Pops? I'm gonna get, get in trouble. I'm gonna get you fucked up with the commission. <laughs> hey, if he just start dirty, if he just positive, hey. I'm gonna come see you. Oh please. shit! All right, I'll be ready. But look, <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm gonna lock but, you out. Uh, I'm gonna be, you know, have you, you're not hey. mad with that fucking we, smoke. No, I said lock you out. Oh, okay. I thought you said lock you out. I said, oh, with no. that smoke, yeah. Come on, I, I'm not, I, I'm not having illusions, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't wait to I watch you perform, that, bro. I remember hey, that song. Hey, likewise, bro. I can't bro. wait to watch you perform and you watch me do work, bro. Hell yeah. It's a family thing It's right a be here. real. Let's get it. Cypress it's, Hill. It's, it's much love Zen dog. to the family. And uh, I will be there yeah. representing for y'all, too. So, you know, Let's it's all it. love. And, 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 and if there's a fight after, you know, we, we're going to be in it. That's right. <laughs> let's go. You know you're going to be in there with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll come up there. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's, well, let's go. go. Throw the fucking. Throw, throw them bows. I'm going to make y'all each a song. Fuck that. Fuck let's it. Let's it. go. I'm going to do that for let's each and every one. Yeah, I told you that's on my bucket list. I want to make a, a song with a legend. Yeah. No, we gonna and, uh, and, 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 and a mother can sing a little bit, you know. I heard. Hey, I heard. Hey, give me some money, I'll sing. Now, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make it happen. Hey, let's get it. Salute to my brothers right here, Fernando Thank and Amado Vargas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in the building. Thank you. Gracias. Uh, let them know where they could find you, like on your social uh, media. Uh, you follow me. Uh, you want, go, go ahead. ahead. You can follow me at Amado F. Vargas, AMA DO, like Amado, like Tomato, Tomato, F. Vargas. And my pops, go ahead. At underscore Fernando Barres. I follow you, Papa. Let's get hey, it. Papa. You got to follow me back. I'm going to follow you now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. I got you. All right. We're going to cut into this break. We'll be back, I think, with Onyx. How about that? Oh. Damn. Onyx is here? I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him. It's just Anywhere else. We're just, we're just. Hey, so. It's real TV, fool. Today, full of color and fun, and, and, and oh my God, I, I need three hours to figure out where my zone is. I become what I considered normal with the use. I, you know, it, I feel like I've gotten a little, a little smarter with it, even. <laughs> Maybe I just got better because I cut back on the drinking. A little more focused. Yeah, a little more focused. <laughs> THC controls. What we've started seeing is, you know, the way, the way, for example, we irrigate the systems, you know, uh, water saturation levels in the mediums, uh, the light levels, let's say your THC levels or your terpene levels are based off of the crop that allows you to kind of tune and adjust and see what's going on so you can make the next one that much better. that's still afloat that started from day one. You know, we knew the money would come, but the love for the industry is is the most, one of the most important It's the passion things. at the end of the day that yeah. drives you. So hopefully it's federal and worldwide is legal. So then, this will keep pushing. This is something that people need, people use across many generations across many genres across many you know like like, like cultural um uh backgrounds cannabis is 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 not something that can be navigated if you're not part of the culture
on your laptop, iPad, or anywhere else online. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be real TV, fool. Nah, you can't hear. It's the Dr. Green Thumb podcast. Nope, sorry. Let me start that again. Ah, do- yeah, ah, fucking got me. It's because we haven't smoked out of respect for our bros boxing license. We did not smoke here. Yeah, um, respect. It's Dr. Green Thumb show. I got yeah. my man, Psycho Leezy, up in here. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? And, and evidently, my bros, Sticky Fingers... And, and uh, Fredro Star gonna be popping up on us pretty soon. Right on. So, uh, yeah, man, it's it's a busy day down here at Be man. Real TV. Man, it sure is. It's like the universal backlog over here. Yes, it's, it's like popping. It's it's <laughs> popping nonstop. And we got ambiance in this bitch right now. Yeah, it's true, man. It's kind of rad. Yeah, uh, salute to the Vargas family. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're you know they're gonna be representing. I'm just saying. On May like, 14th. That fool has three sons, bro. Like, if you get an ass whooping in that house, it like, ain't if good. you got to get disciplined at some point, like, because I'm, you know, Latino, you Imagine just, trying uh, to break in their house. <laughs> <laughs> that Man. Or, or just like, let's just say you, you know, some, you yeah. fucked up and then your dad's got to hit you with the belt, but instead, you know, he's right there. I'm just like, damn, bro, that's got to be intense. I wouldn't fuck up. Don't, don't fuck up. <laughs> yeah, nah, they be like, fuck the belt, bro. The putazos. Oh, you can't roll up on those guys, dog. Well, the thing They're, is, you catch the putazos, dog. You know, he was saying, like, you know, like, oh, hey, did you go? You know, if he could tell that, you know, he, he went out, like, oh, let's go spar real quick. And, like, yeah, and you, can't, you can't say no. And you can't say no. Like, I don't feel like So, it, like, that. no, dad, I'm tired. Like, no, you're supposed to, you know, like, damn. I mean, yeah, you got to be about it, man. Be about it. That's got discipline. You got to focus. Hey man, um, if you're in a fight sport, whether it's boxing or UFC, you got to have mad discipline. Any any pro sport, curling, or you'll get fucking laughed out of the fucking building. You got True. to be about your shit and and fighting, Tiger especially Warriors. fighting because like you know you're in there by yourself. It's about what you do. Yep. And you can have all the guidance in the world, but you got to follow that and somehow make it work. And it's on you. That's why it's one of the hardest. It's it's one of the hardest livings ever, and I respect anyone who does that shit. Cause it's, it's a lot of pressure too, man. Cause like yeah, yeah. Essentially, man, like you know, like you're you're somebody's like not. It's and metaphorically somebody's betting horse. A lot of people's betting horse, man. And it's like there's a lot of fucking money involved in that. And there's you know there's people. I mean that has nothing to do with you. But there's some people that if they lose that bet, yeah, they man. fucking grow that hate automatically for you and all that shit. You know what I mean? I was like, you degenerate gambler. Why you got to hate me? It's well, my fault you, you lost know, the house. But it just, it, it's pressure. You but know? the thing is, is if you're a professional athlete, you're not thinking about what anyone bet on you or against you. You're about like, I got to go annihilate this motherfucker. All that stuff is like distractionary shit. Because, you know, what what I, what I meant is like the bets like have to, they, they got to impact you at some point. Because let's just say... If 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 you and I are fighters and all and all that shit, like we've got to be plus, like you got to be plus two three hundred points, and I'm like negative two hundred points. That's just got to affect you at some point that, if you if you look at it. That's if someone's yeah. coming at you and telling you this shit. But, but there's like, some people that like to keep on top of that shit. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I I think if you had a gambling problem yourself, then maybe. But like if you're focused on fighting, you're not even thinking about any of that shit. Yes. You're like I I'm going in there to do my best. This is the best version of me. And I'm gonna give it to this motherfucker right now. That's why my homie said he's like, right. I try to live a clean life. I was like, that's the ultimate form of discipline, bro. That's like some monk shit. Hey, that's that's <laughs> what you know that someone loves the shit they're doing is when they're willing to channel out everything that could be a distraction. Yeah, I mean, even that's... even you know the, chicks, you know, having sex before the fight, like a month. Yeah. I mean, not everybody ha- is disciplined like dude, that. Dude, not too many dudes. You got a fine-ass chick at home, and it's that day. He go just curve her. And all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like, you know what? Maybe this one time. Yeah. And that one, uh-huh. <laughs> that one time factors in, son. <laughs> you know, you. I've been training real hard. I'm, I'm going to let I it deserve this. I'm I about deserve- to be champion. Yeah, I'm about to be champion. I'm going to go <laughs> two weeks in. Nah. Hey, I want to just send a quick shout-out to DJ Khaled for his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um... Rappers, rap producers, DJs, groups, artists. No one thought that we would be achieving such a thing. He is in the star family now, so I'll salute to my man DJ Khaled. Salute. Word up. Did he put his baby on the star? 
He should, he, I don't know. He put a lot of He shit wore on a fly ass bro. suit, though. I no, tell he, you, that, that orange peel suit, son, that shit was everything. Dude, he put a lot of shit on that star. Like, you know, like it was barely uh, any room on there because he put shoes, he put bottles, he poured liquor on top of it. As you should. I mean, it's, it depends on how you want to celebrate it. Like, you know, we, we've all been speaking about what's under our star. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't go be trying to peel it up because, you know, it's stale by now. You will not enjoy it. Oh, that's right. Maybe. And you will and you will curse every stoner for the years to come in their harvest. Don't do it. See, he look at fly. You saw him kicking it with Basquiat. <laughs> it's just what, 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 hold on. What are you trying to do, Cairo? Mm, later. Yes, but yes, we will. <laughs> um, we got our Dr. Green Thumb boxing glove signed by uh, the <laughs> Vargas, the Vargas family. You know what I'm saying? Um. A memento. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 37 punches coming towards Aton. 37 punches to Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy, yeah. happy birthday to our in house <laughs> hall monitor, Aton. Did he text we me? We should too? jump him. I mean, we were talking about that happy birthday, you. with Fernando and his boys because um, one of his boys is going to turn 18 on May 14th, the night of fight. Damn. And he was like, we got to jump him. That's <laughs> It's the old school way. Fuck. <laughs> and he's right. So by that, you know, by those rules alone, by old school rules, we'll be jumping Aton after the show. <laughs> Gospels for Aton. Oh, that's why he's leaving early. He told me he's got to leave early. That's right. Damn. That's right. Oh, you're trying to avoid you're trying to avoid the putasos, huh, Aton? Hmm. <coughs> you won't get away with this. 37 putasos. From all of us, <laughs> thirty t- was I'm thirty-seven ready. times eight. <laughs> that is wrong table, dude. Wrong table for that. Yeah. I would have thought C minus might have had that. It's a lot of black and blues. <laughs> That's a lot of black and blues. It's a whole lot of putasos. That's what it is. Two hundred ninety-six. Oh, look at Colton. He looked it up with the fucking computer. The human calculator. Yeah, yeah, don't act like you did that by yourself right now. Oh, mental math. Yeah, Dom, <laughs> Dom probably helped you out. <laughs> Dom got the calculator. Yep. Watch. Dom is the calculator. He is bro. the calculator. Yep. I heard some shit you and Bobo was doing. Fucking bang us, son. He was playing it earlier while he was here. Got a lot of heat. Salute to the hawk. A lot of heat. A lot of heat coming. For real. Hey, look, let me take this time. Salute to Snacks. He's rapping that fucking Back in Black album. Yeah. 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 That's right. <laughs> he was like hip hop. That's what he. That's what he said. This is hip hop. Um, salute to our sponsor, CBD Lion, King of the Motherfucking Jungles. It's CBDs. If you need them, and you probably do, and there's probably a lot of folks that you know that need them, go to cbdlion.com. Choose up on one of these handy dandy products, mine, cause they works. All right, pop that menu open. Delta 8, Delta 9 products, CBD edibles, gummies, tinctures, topicals, hemp flowers, full spectrum capsules, CBD broad spectrum capsules, CBD isolates, broad and full spectrum products, CBD bundles, combo packs, pet tinctures, and treats. Treat yourself. Don't beat yourself. What? And you know how you treat yourself? How? With a fucking banging bath bomb, B. Mm. <laughs> They're fucking bananas. Mm. You can't beat this. I dare you. You better not even try. Uh, use coupon code Be Real on your purchase and get a discount on that purchase. All right, go to cbdline.com. Uh, topicals are great. Tinctures, awesome. Gummies on hit. You ain't losing. I love it. I love it. Add this to your your regimen. If you take vitamins. This would, you know, in turn amplify amplify those vitamins. Like, so what you're putting in your body right now, you know, if it's good fuel, these CBDs will amplify that. So will THC. Just so you know. Um. So uh, give them a try, CBD line. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Dom didn't play you the the, other, the new stuff. Some of the new shit. I've been I've been crazy busy doing press and promo, and I recorded something um <laughs> yeah no I was, it's on the i'll let you hear it later but yeah we've been mad busy but he'll probably I'll, I'll get him to play i got i got a, a surprise guest jumping I, I, on the album too i'm not gonna say his name i figured you would 
<laughs> and all, all for it. You're going to love it. I know you're Bolton's favorite at the table right now. <laughs> Power to the people. You know we're sending Les on a mission later. Oh shit. <laughs> He's going on a fucking ride, son. Apparently he got the text this morning. Ah. Yeah. I feel like Colton watches a lot of gangland to keep up. He's watching colors. <laughs> colors. Colors. I can't be seen by, by no bulls. Yeah. Yeah. I am a nightmare walking. Psychopath talking. Or stalking, sorry. Yeah, king of my jungle just to get Next is stalking. Yeah, right. Wow. 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 Hey, Ice had some joints, man. man. Motherfucking pioneer of, of, of gangster shit here on the West Coast. Man. 100. He did a lot for, for uh, you know, putting L.A. on the map like that. Was yes. the last time you kicked it with him, bro? It's been a minute. Um... We did some shows with them maybe a year and a half ago when when it started opening up a little bit. Um, and then we seen him not too long ago. We'd seen him again somewhere else. I'm trying to get him here. Oh, Everybody, yeah. listen. Focus your energy right now. Go to all platforms, Twitter, Facebook, IG, and we want you to wave Ice T and tell him we want to see you on the Dr. Green Thumb show, Triple OG, because he is definition yes. of Triple OG. And make sure you tag us. And I want everybody to do this, not just a couple of you motherfuckers. That's his Twitter handle yeah. right there. Yeah, go to Twitter left. too. Yeah, yeah. Blow hit him, him up. Blow him up. Hit him on Twitter. Yeah. Hit him on IG. Tell him we love you, Triple OG. Come sit in on the Dr. Green Thumb show with me, Rossi, minus psycho, last and fucking ease old, son. <laughs> Comes through with some Tide. Word up, Ice T. Comes through with some Tide. And stone, and, and stone Cold. Yeah, and Stone Cold. <laughs> Those are good commercials. I got to tell you, yeah. that shit is funny. Dude. Yeah, yeah. That's the OG right there. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool combination, and it's funny as fuck. When you do commercials like that, I imagine you probably gotta go. Like, you, do you get a certain amount of like, if he does Tide, does he get Tide like a certain amount of Tide per month? Does he just have to pay for soap? Hey, I mean, he could work it in there. You know, <laughs> like I'm just, look, Ice T's not like a little dude, and Stone Cold makes him look like a little dude. Jesus Christ, Stone Cold. He's used to Christo. Uh, you, uh, you know, that's someone who could drink beer. Dude, the way he does it though, he just smashes him and it's fucking. He well, that's, a, that's a that's a cheat though. Well, he doesn't really drink it. Like when like after watching a lot of these clips, it's like he lets a lot of it fall off, and then towards the end, he like takes a gulp and that's it. But he can drink <laughs> beers. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't, don't get it twisted just because yeah. he cheats that part. <laughs> no, I mean, don't think he he don't drink beers. Well, I'm no, sure. he does drink. I'm, I'm not talking saying, to him though. Yeah. I'm looking at you, but I'm really talking. I'm not him. saying he doesn't drink. Somebody and other things what too. What do you mean? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think he smokes now, but not openly. You know, he, he's he's admitted to yeah. Well, smoking. He, I think he lives in Nevada, so he he definitely fucking look at that. Oh, no, he doesn't live in Nevada smoking. no more. He moved. Oh, he moved. Where yeah, he he's to? out here now. Look at him. Oh, he's here in L.A. Yeah, I think he's out in California. Right like now. water. That looks like water. I think he sure. goes back and forth. But he, no, he. I listened to his podcast. He, I know he sold the, the the ranch in Nevada because he had like a rat problem, bro. Oh yeah. Like they, they, because it's in the desert and like there's a bunch of desert rats. Yeah, that's rodents. like where they chose to fucking like mate <laughs> on was, his land. Yeah, there was a fuck they, load of. They him. choose to procreate on Stone Cold's land. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. And then he was just like, I just couldn't deal with it, and I got out and sold it. I don't blame him. Yeah, I would have too. Fuck I think that. He's out, he has a ranch out here now. Because you know how much money you got to fucking spend to try to eradicate all those fucking things, and then you might have the state or whatever the county coming at you like, oh well, you can't kill. Them. Yeah, it's like you know you have to somehow deter them from your property, but you can't kill. Them. <laughs> Fuck like, out of here! It's like the war on drugs; you'll never win. Yeah, that's true. Although it, we are winning, and because this is not a drug, exactly. It's a but, medicine. Like fighting it's medication, fighting yes. varmints at like a at a huge like you know acres <laughs> varmints. varmints, you little varmint, little varmints, vermin varmints. You that's know a, that's the actual term. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, I mean, so if you're at, if you're at like you know presumably their area, their hood, you know what I mean? Like in these acres where they're just you know used to like hanging out. Yeah, it's gonna be tough as fuck to eradicate them. I yeah, understand. No. Better to fucking move to a place that's 
<laughs> nah. You won this time, you dirty you, rat. You won this time, you <laughs> dirty rat. Yeah, see? Yeah. I wouldn't have got, and I would have got away with it had it not been for you dirty rats. For you dirty little motherfuckers. You dirty <laughs> varmints. Dirty rat bastard. Oh. Uh, we're gonna impl- implement a new game for us, but we're not playing it today. <laughs> okay, just because we're not playing it today. Yeah. It has to start at the start of the show. Shall I? Shall I tell these two gentlemen what it is? <laughs> Please. Because you already know what it I is. I already know what it is. Yes. We're, this is true. All right. So. True. We're gonna we're gonna do a thing where we're gonna see if we could pop the first half hour without cursing, and whoever does. Has to take a shot. Now, if it's on the days of Monday and Wednesday, where it's Cali Blaze and Bobo, well, Bobo is, you know, we got to get a ringer for him because he can't do nothing. Yeah. But we will get a ringer to pay his dues. Um, if, you know, when we implement this game on those days, it's five flips. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So, you know, we're not doing it today, but I'm just getting you ready because... <laughs> Imagine a no what curse. God, Imagine God, that. Right you do know the more shots some of us take, the more we're going to curse. Well, you know, then makes it an interesting show later, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. Mm. Sounds like a fun game. Yeah, people are loving <laughs> the idea right now. They're All like, right. oh, drunk zone. <laughs> He's a <laughs> fuckity fuck, 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 I'm fucking fuck. Yeah, you know, yeah. C minus and I might have it locked because we've been on radio. We sort of know how to withhold, but uh, y'all, yeah, C minus doesn't. I don't know, B. Yeah. It's, it's just a quick switch you hit when it's you've a, done radio for so long. You just go, okay, I can't freaking cuss. Yeah. yeah, I don't really cuss too much when I'm when I talk. It's more when I rap. You're right. Right. You know what? I've noticed that, like that when we as we've done this show. Yeah, there's not a lot of expletives. But in the rap, yeah, fuck yeah, B. I cuss a lot. All day, oh, son man. of a bitch. Yeah, you, fuck it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I will be probably drinking more than all of you. Because <laughs> I've gotten used to sitting in this seat or this show and being free with the word, the words that we the, say. The expletives? The ex- expletives. Expletives, there we go. Yes. Um, so it's kind of hard to break that fucking habit, see? I understand. When I, but when I go to radio, so like if I'm there with Big Boy or somebody like that, right? It's like a switch. It's a what muscle memory. If, what happens if you cuss? You got to pay the fine. Well, no, they have they have a delay there that oh. they can you know click out of, or you know a lot of times these shows they don't trust rappers, so they have pre recorded so they can yeah. totally you know yeah. edit if 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 that happens because not all of us know how to conduct ourselves professionally <laughs> and shit. Uh, what you do know you mean? what I'm saying? I, I think it was well explained there. <laughs> <laughs> Some of Me. us don't know how to you know. do the shit professionally. <gasps> Knowing that we're on live radio and there's fines by the FCC for oh, every man. expletive that fucking pops out your goddamn mouth. You all, you, all you need is one complaint to the FCC. And now they, back then they didn't used to have, uh, you know, you could have like tapings of it. But like now all you need is one complaint. And you're looking at a potential of 150,000. 150,000 racks off top for you. Off top for you. Damn. I don't know how much money we cost to beat when we fucking quit. Hey, we must have cost them so much money. <laughs> well, but. the thing was, is like you had to be. You it could happen, but you had to. You had to get complaints. Someone had to like. It's like when somebody calls a better business bureau on you. It doesn't I don't matter. know. I don't know how we didn't get complaints on that last day. It, yeah, it's not. It, the Better Business Bureau doesn't matter. It's no, I'm the saying FCC. it's like, yeah, it's it's like FCC. when somebody calls that on right. your business. Like it is. the equivalent. Like if you say, yes. If you, the thing is, is the FCC ain't going to do shit unless you got a recording of it to prove the complaint. Because they get complaints all day just oh, by man. someone who, you know, may have thought they won these tickets, but someone else won them and they want to fucking shit on the station for it. So they call in a fucking complaint. You have to be able to prove oh, yeah. that. So, like, what would happen with us sometimes. Is me and Bobo, we'd fucking write the raunchy sketches and then they'd be running. And one time at the LA Fair, at the LA Fair, it was popping off and it was evening time. Who has their fucking kids at the fair in, in the late evening? Like Bad that? parents, be real. I don't That's know. Cool. Well, I can't say that because, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But just saying, yeah. some folks were 
<laughs> walking by the the beat the the ninety two point three the beat booth that was there because a lot of the radio stations here would go to these fairs and rep have a a representation there, right? Right. And one of our raunchiest sketches came on, and there was kids by our fucking by the booth and everything, and they called and complained on us about that shit. But wow. we didn't get a fine. We're like, wow. hey man, that's not fucking our fault. It's like a Friday night, right? You know what I mean? It's it's what we normally do. Just because the fair is fucking on, why like yeah. why would we have to change? You know, psh, cram that up your ass. But they never <laughs> find us. They, they, that complaint came about. But the sketch was as raunchy as it was. There was no expletives, and it wasn't like it was more suggestive yeah. than it was like descriptive. Right. And they couldn't fuck with us for that. And that's how we got away with that shit. But we should have got fined many a times when I think about some of the shit we had pop in there. <laughs> oh, man. Did I ever tell you about, like, you know, I used to do my rock show on Power 106. It was called, it, was, it went through three different names. It was Channel Zero. Then there was the show with no name. Then it was Mass Distortion. So DJ Lethal was a big part of this show, along with DJ Homicide. What up, Homicide? We're gonna get Homicide on. Salute to both those bros. Hey, I'm gonna get. I want to get Homicide on. Come hang with us as well as Lethal. Are Uh, you? And uh, so, um, so one day, uh, I think Craig was on tour. Homicide was on tour. It was me and Lethal holding it down, and we were like, "Hey, we should hold a cannabis cup right now and like see if we on on our show. Let's see if we can get someone to come down, bring us, you know." the best rolled joint or blunt or whatever. And we'll judge it, and whoever wins, wins the cannabis cup on the air. We're like, all right, and we're the judges, you know what I mean? So we did it, Every it was really fun. We met a couple people you know, that were cool, and they were like, yeah, we listen to the show all the time. So the next weekend, I'm DJing a regular mix weekend, so it's Saturday night, I'm putting my records down in my car, a cop rolls up, and he's all, socks you? He's all, hey. You know who DJs on Sunday nights over here? I was like, oh, yeah, that's me. He goes, do you hold a cannabis cup? Oops. <laughs> on the air? <laughs> and I was like, I sure did. And he was like, you're fired. He goes, we just, I just want to let you know that was fucking hilarious. And, and oh. you, got, you guys got a shit ton of complaints at the station. <laughs> like people were calling for us to try to come and have you arrested for being on the air smoking weed. And, and they, didn't like, re- they, they really can't prove it, though. And he and I was like, so are you fucking... And he was like, nah, man. And he was in his cop car. You know, he was in his car, just patrol car, just right there. And he goes, they called us. And we were we were laughing our ass because we got so much other shit to do besides go and... Well, in not, the only, 90s, well not only that, they would yeah, have yeah. to prove that you were actually smoking weed. Yeah, you could have just been talking shit. This is on radio. You yeah, know what I mean? It's all power of, um, you know, the conversation and making a visual. <laughs> but you know and like, hey, man, I was... <laughs> You hip, think hip this corporation, police. you got to come at him like, you think this corporation <laughs> is right. going to let me, who pays me this little bit of money, <laughs> smoke weed in their shit? Right. Hey, it's man. a sketch, bro. Uh, and then, you know, if they if they were to come in and smell it, then word up. Uh, this Justin Onyx is in the building. <laughs> All right. We're going to be right back after this break, Onyx. and uh, our brothers are going to sit in with us right here. You want a job? I love it. Do you want to play rough? Okay. Okay, we'll say hello to my little friend. I see me little sandwich, man. But the fucking burger has more tomato than burger. Or when the tomato is the patty and the fucking burger patty is just the garnish. So I'm Dustin Barnes from Barnes Barbecue, and we're at Be Real TV. And you've got the chili to mask the fact that they've given you too much tomato. Yeah. It's like the worst fucking burger. I'm sorry, Tom. Okay, it's like a fucking caterpillar. It's all cocooned up, and when I'm ready to cut it open, it's going to be like a butterfly, and it's going to pop out. That's what this brisket's like. It's been like this for like, you know, 19 hours like that. It's like... <laughs> the fuck, yeah? The one 
Mario Fall Part 2 do that. Touching that. Look at, look at all the juice. These are one off. They are Wagyu, pastrami, brisket, barbecue beans. Alrighty, starting in five, four, three, two. That's like the real aftermath. <laughs> That's what happens after 15 centers hit up all the parts barbecue. There's nothing left. On the show, it's your man Big Diamond D representing Digging in the Crates. Let's go. The better you'll sound, obviously. Hip hop on your laptop, iPad, or anywhere else online. TV, fool. I'm excited. My my peoples are in the building. <laughs> Fredro <laughs> Stars, Dickie Fingers, Onyx yeah. in the building. Yeah, yeah. Pop. yeah. Pop. Lick shot. That's right, man. Hey, it's good to have y'all motherfuckers in here, man. Hell yeah. Um, it's a hey. <laughs> we're queens. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna fucking kill that night. I gotta tell you that. Now nah, we're gonna bring life to it. This, yes, this is a fucking celebration. <laughs> yes, for hip hop yeah. for the culture. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's Word. what the fuck this is. Yes, absolutely. Every, every versus battle I ever saw. Right. I didn't look at it like there was a winner or a loser. I thought that the people that fuck with hip hop were the winners because they got an experience that uh, is yeah. unique. Like, you know, like, it's very rare when you could go back and forth with people, like, popping off your catalog like this and making people have these different reactions, right? But, like, back to back. Because, you know, we've done shows together many a times, right? right. Festivals and, and, and right. what have you. And people see our full sets. Right. And, and they're used to that traditional get down. Right. Know what I mean? And that's cool because... I would definitely go see an Onyx set, and yeah. I would definitely go see a, a Beat Nut set in itself. But to see a set going back and forth like that, man, that shit is something else. You know what's crazy? Else. You don't get That's that. That's how it started. When 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 the dudes had the speakers in, the, and they would go to the like the park mm -hmm. jam. Right. The right. dude would bring out these speakers. He'll play a song. See who shit out, and then he'll play. That's the Jamaicans used to do it like that. Sound, Sound clash. clash. Sound clash. clash, yeah. So now we really doing <coughs> that shit. And we're bringing it back. Word. It's It's in a different way, obviously. You know what I mean? It, it It's it's a bigger audience watching these sound clashes and shit. And, and technology has given us the ability to reach out from from the point that we're doing it at and broadcast it out. And that's what's cool. Cause Globally. Yeah, it's a universal experience that these motherfuckers are going to have. Right. And you give the, <laughs> your, your diehard fans, they're the winners. Yeah. They, exactly. they win. Yeah, absolutely. That, you know what I'm saying? Because they're rooting for their group. Yeah. They yeah. win. Absolutely. You know when 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 um, when KRS won and Big Daddy Kane went, went at it, right? I, oh, you, you know, like everybody might have thought, oh, well, so and so did better, so and so did better. But I looked at it like, man, both these motherfuckers represented. Yeah, and yeah. to hear the, it was a great show. Hear the oh, yeah. songs going back and forth like that, that's just an absolutely fucking dope. on hit experience. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to be there as a fan of both groups. Like, you already know, I love y'all motherfuckers and Cypress, we love y'all motherfuckers too. And it's like, <coughs> fan, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. it's the best, you know, I, just to hear all that, all that music I know, from, I know from doing shows with these gentlemen that they bring energy and fire, right? So yeah. I know that the folks that are, are witnessing what, what's going to happen on, on the 14th, 
motherfucker, bring your Fitbit watches and yeah. your <laughs> Apple watches and you know, yeah. watch them the calories go burn to this energy we go be creating. It's a good thing that you guys go and we go because we can chill. <laughs> you know what I'm right? Hey, hey, See, the that's the other shit. We got to run a whole hour. It's like, oh my God. A rest yeah. and shit. Yeah. And interact because y'all going to be playing shit that I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? So that. the reaction that I'm going to have when I hear Killer Man or. You know what I'm saying? Stone, Stone is, is the, the way, way of the walk. walk. Like, Hell yeah. Oh, we, all times, we're know? all going to have fun, man. And that's yeah. the great part about it, you know, because we have a, a friendship and a brotherhood going way the fuck back. Mm -hmm. I, hey, look, I remember one of the first shows we did with y'all, Run DMC was on it. And uh, it, the fuck, where was it? It was it was, it was, was on the East Coast. It was, I think it was in New York. Was upstate. It was, 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 it was upstate? I think it was upstate somewhere. Um because it seemed like a college town right. show and we was doing the show like the way they had Melbourne. set it up was like on the street or some shit like this yeah. remember that shit yeah and motherfuckers when y'all went on bottles started fucking popping off <laughs> everywhere motherfuckers went crazy was rowdy man back in the, oh. we was like 90 early hip-hop was rowdy yeah like the, the beats the was, tempo yeah we was like on 98 yeah, yeah. and niggas doing yeah. like beats like 79 now yeah <laughs> it was strictly on yeah, was, you know, the beats was it, hard yeah. though. It was yeah. that rah rah type <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I think our generation of hip hop, we like those those hard, grimy, aggressive mm. fucking songs. That's I think that's the shit we all had in common. Come on, we grew up on the NWAs, yeah, the Public Enemies, yes. the yeah, man. LLs. Those were the dudes <laughs> before us. So we had to come hard like that. You know what I'm saying? Daddy Kane, like, okay, Daddy Kane. We gonna Rock be the Kane. next of this Slick shit. Rick. Cause I remember Slick Rick. NWA. I was like. It was like a revelation. You know what's crazy is, is you mentioned Slick Rick, and I think that guy right there was responsible for all the storytelling that happened in hip hop. Because we heard the way he told the story, yep. and then we all wanted to tell a story like as, like as dope as that and as descriptive. Like you could visualize the shit he's saying in his stories. Right. And, and like it, it was, it was. That's, that's oh, one yeah. of the pieces I took from him on my storytelling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think Ultimate. I think we all have like you know like been inspired by him in that in that sense. Oh, he's the best. Like cuz on every hip hop album ever somebody tells at least one or two stories. You got, if you, if your album doesn't have a story, yeah. It's not a classic. It's, it's not a classic. It's not a classic. I agree. It's it's a good album, but it's not a, You got to have a story in there. Right. Be a classic. Yeah. Yep. Somewhat. The shit y'all did though, man. I had to say, man, that shit was fucking awesome. Like the movie where y'all just kept like the verses were like the dialogue. Yeah, day in the life. Fuck. You saw dude. that shit? I did. Wow. Come on, man. I'm a fan. That shit was crazy. <laughs> this is a crazy scientist, motherfucker. Oh, he, that... Like everything he does is like conceptual and shit. So he was saying he was gonna make a, a all rap movie. I was just like, that shit was brilliant. I was like, yo, that Thank shit you. is crazy. But and... we got it done. Rest in peace to Michael K. Williams. Man. Yeah. Rest in peace to Lamont Bentley. That's right. Big Bear. Big Bear was a he rest in peace to X One. X one. You know, hey, hey, did y'all do? Did y'all do all the writing, or was it like a combined effort of all the different? You did. I wrote you up did everything. everything, except for Omar Epps. Except for Omar Epps part. Omar Epps wrote yeah, his like, own yo, shit. He said, "Yo, I do the movie. You ain't gotta pay me. But I gotta I do write my own shit. I, I, I go. sold. Yo, <laughs> all right. Let me tell you about Next Omar movie. Epps. He yo. nice too. Yo, Omar Epps <laughs> is a real rapper. Yeah. Case Slay had this shit called. I think it was 150 MCs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. He told everybody to put eight bars in. Omar Epps rhymes for like long. 32. Yeah. <laughs> he said, fuck that, ain't, ain't enough. That was his deal, yo. <laughs> ain't, ain't enough, I need 32. At least, at least it was 32, 30, it was 32 special. Yeah. That's, that was a long ass song. Hell yeah. That was. <laughs> Fucking A. But yeah, but but, this is going to be so stick, so crazy. And yeah. the weed that night is just going to be. I'm staying away from the weed until after. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they gonna slip you a be real. They gonna smoke that shit. And be I, Cypress held out. I got a couple ready. I got a couple yeah, ready. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a sin, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh man, that, hey, that's crazy that you wrote the whole shit. Like, how many bars you think that that totaled out to? A quadrillion. A quadrillion. Because I mean, fuck, all the dialogue was. You know, bars. That's that's a good question. How many bars do you think that shit? You know what? That's a great question. Should have someone count so that shit right. out. Every so every scene would have been like. Cause that's a world Wait, record, if you ask bars. me. That's funny. That's, that's, that's a world funny. record wow. in terms of bar writing. Right. That's a lot. See. Uh, uh, hey, bro. Yeah, some homework. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take to write? 
Man, it, it, you know, um, I don't fucking know. I, I know we had like uh, maybe what, 45 shoot days over the course of like four years, though. It took oh. a minute to make, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. We was just like, you know. People you had, had to learn process, those parts. No, the, you had to go in the studio first. Studio. You do like a real, like yeah, a real record. Right, record it for real. Yeah, record yeah. it for real. Do you overdub it like a. Yeah. You know yeah that's great. That was the weird part because, you know, we do movies like we, we had to stick to what was on the tape. Right. right. You, know you can't ad lib there. You can't ad lib. Yeah. It's kinda, you can action lib, but that's about it. Yeah. But I thought it was dope the way you got, the, the way you fucking handled that shit. That in shit was life, dope. It was life. just so different. You know what I mean? In movie form. Yeah, I even did a second one. It's called Caught on Tape. And we about to start the third one. Oh, no Can't shit. Oh, yeah, word. man. Word. More bars. That's dope. More bars. More bars. More bars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I, I think what what some of the, the younger cats don't get yet, you know, and I think this is um like a salute to our generation, is I think when you when you keep writing, right, and and you're you're constantly recording you're you're sharpening the sword keeping the sh sword sharp and then you know making it more sharp right. right and i think that's that's great man like that that you're able to like do a, a fucking whole movie and it's all bars man i mean that there, there ain't nothing you could do but step the fuck up with that because you you're, you're doing your shit you get bored with just body and people so you got to think and got more difficult tasks to accomplish you know what i mean right <laughs> right I feel you on that. Wow, yeah. Got to keep it moving, keep it working, and shit, man. That you know, that's 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 the shit, man. Is is people expected motherfuckers in our generation to like, you know, die out quickly? Oh hell no, hip hop is forever, man. And we and, and our generation proved that shit wrong because yeah. here we are at thirty years, like groups like ours, you know, we're 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 fortunate because we put that work in to to be around this long. The platinum you know era. That's right. Should I still see like KRS-One, Rock Kim Slick? They still doing it, and they older than us. Yeah. So I look Sugar at them. I'm like, yo, that's inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit, Grandmaster Flash still DJ, killing it. Killing it. I mean, he got to be about sixty something. Yeah, I think about that, man. A lot of them dudes are like now in their sixties, still yeah. rocking. I mean, yeah. KRS-One is like right there on the cusp, if not sixty. Yeah. And he's yeah. he's killing it. Like they they killing it iller than the young motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <sighs> Shit, yeah. man. And they got catalogs. That, I mean, that, those that, motherfuckers that sell out shows. Those motherfuckers stay inspiring me because, yeah, like, you know, we was in, we was inspired by by them coming up and still, they, you know, like they still fucking pushing the line and and mm -hmm. killing it. You can't help but to still be inspired by by the cats that are before us. Right. You know what I mean? And, and see it like one of my favorites has always been KRS One. So to see him constantly Absolutely. making new shit mm -hmm. and always working, still body and shit, still body and shit. Yep. And um, you know that's the gold school for you, man. Just keep keep bodying. That's <laughs> get the body back. Got the, you got to get your body. Y'all got the new album too, right? Yeah, we we What's making out, a new man? album too. We got Another the album one. called 1993. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have some joints. That 1993 yeah. shit. This kid, this kid from uh, Ukraine. Send me some beats. I see, yo, this just sound like 1993, my nigga. We made an album in like 12 hours, bro. That's Damn. When you're no pen. When you're inspired, with there's no, with no pen. Yeah, with no pen. No pen. That's, that's one Going of the in. joints that, that of like the video. Nice. That's the joint of Correct. the video. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. The video using. Word up. No, no, no right. writing. Cause I thought, let's write, let's write it while we sing right on the spot on the yeah. mic. Right. Still writing, but you're not putting it on right. paper. Yeah. You know, it's right. still writing. Yeah. You're putting your thoughts down, but let's put it down on the mic. Sometimes Damn. you unlock some different shit doing it like the that. Oh, comes, it's just natural for it's like you keep the pace it's up. Like a, a, right. Instant. Yeah. You know? It's, it's natural. Natural. Yeah, it's like organic. 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 Yeah. 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 Which we smoke a lot of over here. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> 100. <laughs> shit, man. And it definitely, you know, when you got the, some hot beats, that's going to help a lot, too. Look, at he marking it right now. <laughs> oh. And he got some heaters. I know he do. He got some we, heaters. You know, we got, we got some things. So we we got to do some shit. His, his, beat, his, his beats is nuts. Yo, his beats is nuts. They <laughs> <laughs> was talking about you on the radio today. Uh, good look. You know what I'm saying? LL and um, uh, they was talking about your beats and shit. Talking about the, you flipped the up. Uh, I didn't know where you got that from. That was sneaky. 
um, fucking word. Shout out LL and um, Craig, Craig Nice. Greg yeah, Nice. Greg nice yep, yep. I like how Rock the Bells does that. Oh, I love they, Rock the Bell. How they educate people on how this, the, the, the flip so, happened. Yeah. Mm, right. I, you know, I'll be, you know, listening from time to time. And I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I know where a lot of these samples come from because, you know, I get on the tables too. You, you guys know this. Yep. Um, oh, but, but to hear them educating people on those, on, where it comes from like that showing them here's the original and then bam this is where this was birthed from yeah, big, that shit big big props up to um z z z top, z -top. Yeah, yeah dj, DJ z, he's yeah. he's the nigga that's really in the crates like digging that was before shit. my time that record like they yeah. was talking about how they was greg nice like another dude nice and smooth they still doing it you know yeah. what i'm saying i just smoked the smooth two days ago you know what i'm saying that's dope z trip z trip z trip, z -trip. yes Z top. I was, like, Z -top. I was like, Z top is the on. rock and roll. The rock. Z I said, that's right. a new motherfucker like, right there. Like, hold up, <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> that might be son. Uh, I was <laughs> like, who is this DJ they speak of? Z top. Z top. Z -top. Z -top. Z -top. He's damn. That's, that's another kid. Oh, there goes Shirley Jew up there. What? Where? She's on the phone. Oh shit! Oh boy. Oh, shit. What up, Shirley? Salute to Shirley Jew. Yeah. <laughs> She crazy. She is, man. Crazy. She made me get high on her show, man. Oh, Imagine what? that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, How man. could that have happened? Yeah, man. You know. What did I st Stranger Things. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, they just dropped a new trailer. Stranger Things? Yeah. It's supposed to be the last season, I think. I still haven't fucking watched that. You can binge watch all seasons now. Yeah. You so can. It's easy. <laughs> if y'all hate binge watch, you don't get no sleep. It'd be fucking Yeah, crazy. right? Yeah. And I think, I, to me, you gas it early. You know what I mean? Like, stretch it out, because sometimes there ain't shit else worth watching. And you gas it out in that, you know, like, yeah. an, a day. A day, But you've word. done yeah. that. I, you, I know. Because you, oh. you, you want to know what's going on to the next episode. Cause Hell cool. yeah. Well, if yeah. you're trying to catch up, yeah. Right. Yeah. See, I, and also sometimes you just want to know what happens next. You're like, and it's right there. All right, one more. Right. All right, one more. It'd be like three in the morning. You'd be like, ah, one You're more. Like, well, one more. Fuck it. I'm three Stop. away from finishing it. Fuck it. Let's Fuck go. It. Yeah. All right. It happens. Stranger things. I'm at. I'm at the. Uh, they found a way to make movies longer. Right. Right. Fucking make them a series. Binge watch series. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, there, there's some good ones, man, and not so, you know, it's like anything. Yeah. There's some boof shit out there, too. There's some crazy ones, though, too. But there's yeah. some good ones out there these this, these in, days. In, in Spanish, they call them novelas. Novela. Novela. Novelas. Hey, novelas. My grandma calls them uh, her stories. Yeah, stories. Soaps. Yeah. yeah. She just keeps I grew up, my mom was watching you know. the story. Uno stories, right? Every week. Yeah. As the world turns. Some no, uno yeah. mas, What's uno the mas. one they was watching with Tad on there? Oh. <laughs> General Hospital. <laughs> My Tad, mom. also I remember Tad. Tad. Tad was that dude back in the days. <laughs> he sounds like the dude. Tad. All my children. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mom watched Days of Our I Lives. That shit. The thing about the soaps is, you know, they had a lot of hot chicks Stories. On, on the on the soaps. Yeah. So it draw you in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You got drawn in, huh? More than a couple times. You got drawn in, huh, Let's go. A couple of them. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> right? Some gangster shit going on, so right? I had to tune in to those. <laughs> they had the black dude on there. His name was Jesse, I think. He was wilding on the show. Like, he was on some other yeah, shit. Yeah, you, know. you know what I'm saying? So they had, like, he was for, like, the street niggas. Like, like we, gonna, we got something for y'all, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know we know everybody's watching. Fuck it. We're going to give you a little slice of you, too, exactly. right here. Exactly. Oh, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Man. Shit. Hey man, um, it's 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 gonna be fucking epic, man. I, I can't wait. It's gonna be a good night for hip hop. We gonna make it a good night for hip. Not yeah. only hip hop, they got the boxing. Yeah, that's I'm 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 excited to see the Vargas brothers. You know what I'm saying? Get down. You know what I'm saying? That's I, I, different. I've known their father for a long time, and they come from that ilk. Mm. And I know they're gonna put on some good fights. That's crazy. So I can't wait to see that shit. Yo, yeah, see, they mixing That's it up with yes. the boxing, yes. hip hop, and I think boxing is hip hop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause Ooh. the most of the dope boxes be like be hip hop. Look at Muhammad Ali, right. like you know what I'm saying, Floyd Mayweather or you right. know, Mike Tyson. Yeah. They're hip hop. You know what's crazy is 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 we were talking to them about this um, off the air, but how music and 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 sports goes together. Like you know, a lot of the athletes when they're working out or if they're fighters, they're training, they're training to music, right. and a lot of it is hip hop. 
a lot of his uh, of that aggressive shit. Right. right. Yeah. Some motherfuckers might be training to Luther Vandross and all that shit. Nah, those are the motherfuckers that's losing. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas going there. You train a Luther Vandross, <laughs> you getting knocked the fuck out. Said, yeah. I got this Anita. <laughs> like, I got this. I got this Anita Baker in my headphones <laughs> right now. Uh, Never do much. Need a, need don't, front, don't front on, Lu on Luther. <laughs> no, nah, don't front on Luther, Luther but shit. you know, like usually when you're training. In a fight sport, it, it's something aggressive. Mega death and shit. Yeah, oh, you know. Yeah. That fucking slipknot. Yeah, it, it, Word. it depends on, you know, what their vibe is. Onyx. Like music goes Types together. Yeah. Of it. yeah, all that oh, shit. Yeah. And that, that's Public the cool enemy. shit. So when they when they put a put a, an event like this together where it's it's like a, 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 a sound clash and, you know, an actual fucking fight, man, that's yeah. fucking dope, like, to, to put some shit like that together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it goes together well. It really does, man. Yeah. And then, you know, you the boxers always got the rappers before they come out. They rapping and shit. You never... Right. You never hear <laughs> nothing they say. Like, they might be like, <laughs> off and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? You know what it is? Is is they don't come with the earpieces, right? Right. Like, if you ain't done enough shows, right, and, and we... We collectively here have done enough shows to know that once you go past that barrier where the monitors are, right. and you go into the crowd, anything you're doing is off. Yeah, it's, it's behind. It's, it's a delay, right? right? The only way you stay on is if you got in ears. Right. So any rapper that's coming out with one of these fucking boxers from point A to point fucking Z, Z. in ears. <laughs> that's a jewel, y'all. In ears. He's letting y'all know. That's right. Juice so y'all could do it right. Yeah, yeah, do it right. You know what I'm saying? Invest in just a little side pack. See, do oh, the yeah. Yeah. On, man, you man. stay on beat. You know what I can't stand about that shit though is when they come in and they're rapping over the track and they're not doing it without yeah. that shit in there. Right. And it's like, yeah. come on. Yeah, they gotta do the real deal. Right. Yeah. Was well, the fight gonna be like that too? You gonna mimic the fight, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's it's Dude. like it it's like, come on, I know you know your song. Yo, but and, 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 and sometimes motherfuckers be too excited that they don't sound how they sound on the actual track. So it's like a clash. A clash, because when you rhyme it, you're one pitch. And then when you, when you, you know, every time you perform it, you perform it at a higher pitch. I don't give a fuck. Right. It's just louder. It happens yeah. like you project that. Project louder. You know what I'm saying? True that. So. That's that's absolutely true. That's why they shouldn't have a fucking track underneath nah. when they come out. If you're going to come out with a motherfucker, do it proper and, and not have the track. Right. Rap that Yo, shit we for were, real. For the last like ten years, these young kids been rhyming over their beats. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. They love that shit. Huh? Yeah. We like, like <laughs> yeah. where we come from. We don't do that. Like, no, right. Real. It was like new to me. Like, I, I, I think, yeah. Rhyming over the tracks. I think they, our school they learned over their own voice. Yeah, I think our school just learned a different way. Like, you had to be able to get on. <laughs> get in here, do it. That's right. <laughs> you had to be able to do this shit. Yeah, you, There's you no see, rapping you see, over the track in the night. Rapping, then taking drinks and shit. Like, <laughs> and come back and shit like that. Instrumentals oh, like, only. Say little words, couple words here. But like guys like Kara Swim, like, when you do shows with dudes like that, you like, yo. Yeah, there's gotta, no track. You control, you gotta, you know what you're doing behind that mic because it's real out there. The sharks is out. Hell yeah, scrutiny. Watching, hell yeah. Scrutiny, yeah. yeah. It, 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 you gotta give a fuck about your craft. Blood yeah. in the water. That's right. You gotta give a fuck about the craft. To, to respect it enough to be like, okay, I'm going to present this shit. I'm going to come out here right and let these motherfuckers know and and not come out to rap it over the fucking track. Word. That's crazy to be. I, you know, we learn different. Yeah, that's it. I think our school learned different. You right. know, like, it's, nah, this, this ain't the business. But motherfuckers these days, they rely on that because they don't know their own songs like that. Yeah, I don't think they rehearse them. I don't think they play them enough. They record them and then boom. Hands off till until it needs to be like okay, I gotta go do a show, right? Because it, I, it, you know it just the where we came from. It was all about the art of rap, right? You know what I'm saying? Shout to um, Ice T, salute, Nicky Benson and them dudes, rap but, pugilist. But it's about the art of it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about the fashion. I mean, of course, fashion, but it wasn't about everything. the lyrics. Wasn't it's everything? You know what I'm saying? Everything. It wasn't yeah. swagged out. It was like you learned something. Yeah. Yo, we, yo guys, we learned from Rakim. Not to eat pork. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah, and I know that the 18th letter is R. Right? <laughs> we also learned forever from, from Rock Him how to rock the motherfucking right. ropes, too. So I'm the 19th letter. <laughs> Came right after. Sticky. Get him. <laughs> the 19th letter. You know right. I like hey, that. Yeah. I'm the second letter. What's that? I'm the second letter. Fuck it. 
Oh, I'm the third. Yo, you are <laughs> <You> that <won> third. <laughs> I'm the <Minus>. fifth letter. <laughs> yeah. I know, but true shit. You learned shit like that through through motherfuckers that communicated something different, man. Right. That was like, you know, not just dope bars, but like, you know, it it provoked thought or you know taught you something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that shit. You know, we had good teachers. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, we were godfathered in, man. We came from Run DMC, you know what I mean? Yeah. Jam Master yeah. J, specifically. Yeah. yeah he's, wow. Yeah. Rest in peace. That was that was our teacher. Peace. Teacher. Yo. What a what a so great teacher to fucking have. Yeah. Were you guys on JMJ? But specifically, yeah. specifically. Yeah, yeah. We was on JMJ, on, us, B. the family. I used to see y'all at Chung um, King all the yeah. time. The Afros. You, the Afros, the whole, come on, right. of course. I remember. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I used to run into you. Chun King, with, like, with, what with, up? With Spending Chung big budget songs. Remember Chun King? Day, and he'd be sitting on the couch, like, yo, what up? Chun King on. was the ill studio. Man. Come on, come on. Chun King, man. You remember that studio? I, yeah. Wow. I, we recorded a couple joints there. I can't remember which ones, but like, right. man, you know, whenever we got to 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 the East Coast to do anything, I was always like charged by that shit because you know. I grew up listening to East Coast hip hop here right. on the West Coast, right? Because Muggs was from Queens, so in the beginning, I heard about that. Everybody yeah. thought y'all was from New York, right? East because New York. Because your first video you was in New York, right? Cypress Project, well, Pink Houses, right? Killer Man, <laughs> yeah. Hey, definitely Brooklyn. Killer, kill, Killer Man, <laughs> Killer Man, and Hand on the Pump were Hand filmed the in pump. New York. Yeah, it was Stone, right. Yeah, Killer uh, Man was in New York, right? Yeah, Killer Man was um, in Harlem, in in. Um, in uh, at, over at Astor's place where the cube is at, right, and on Forty Second Street, and then there's another place I forgot where it was, but uh, that was a yeah, good video I remember that. Yeah, we had we, when Forty Second Street was Forty Second Street. That's right. When it was grimy, <laughs> right. straight grimy. It was, it was the opposite and of this. Deuce? Yes, uh, and then we did um, then we did uh, Hand on the Pump in Red Hook, Brooklyn. When it was Red Hook, Brooklyn. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, so a lot of people thought we were we were from New York because of that, and right. then you know Mugs being from from Queens, he had that sort of that East Coast sound, mm. and so. What we right. what we did was, I mean, we were getting down with mugs, so he would give us these jewels from, from over where y'all were from, and I was just absorbing all that shit right. more than I was like West Coast rap right. or hip hop. Because even the beats was East Coast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like we heard that shit, we was like, the fuck is that shit? And the yeah. drums is crunchy. Yeah, yeah. like. And, yeah, Muggs, that's when Muggs was on his chop game, like on that SB1200. Yeah, because, because, you, know, because you got to chop it. Because, 50. because you, don't yeah. get, you don't get a lot of sample time back in the day, right. so you no. had to be creative. Five seconds. Yeah. That's it. Man, it's crazy, like when you think about how the producers in our genre, right. you know, had this, this piece. It was innovative, but limited like a motherfucker, yeah. and they created Great art with that so shit. We, we did. I did seconds. last days on it, the SB twelve hundred. This is Mr. Last Days right here. Uh-huh. The oh, last days he was the SB twelve hundred. Word. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, that's why that's and that drum sound like that. You can never, re- that you can never recreate that shit. Well, that's why I that try to make that beat over too. a million times. I can't that's do that it. That SP. That SP twelve hundred man. I mean, there was something special in that in that machine, man. I mean, you know, a lot of fucking great. The sample rate. What is it? Sixteen bit or twelve bit? Ten. I think. Not even sure. But think about like. The 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 music that was built off of those simple ass machines, bro. Simple. Like classic albums, like mm-hmm. off of that, based off of that limited ass simple. Fucking easy yeah, mode beat. He's easy the master. Mode, of yeah. That shit. Oh yeah. Flavor in the air. Pete Rock. All that beat. All, all that Biggie shit. Yeah. yeah. I was Pete at his crib. He got three of them shit, yo. Craig Mack. Right. Three SP sitting right there. Burm. Yeah. I, mean, I did that shit. I was like. You know what's crazy ah. is, is you see <laughs> is you see some motherfuckers Shits. going back that back. swing. Actually, you see, lanes. you see motherfuckers going back to it these days. Like, yep. you know what? I'm gonna chop some shit up on this shit, you know. And now I think they're they're making versions of it where they're up. Yo, we got, got a new got single. Plug-ins. Yo, we got plug-ins. a new single yeah. right now <laughs> called it's called Shoot With, and I chopped the sample like that. You gonna hear this shit? Yo. Nas sample, peace Nas. Put your hands. Send it to me. Crazy. Shoot but with. It, 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 it gives you that feel though. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's just an eh, eh, right. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's dope. Crazy. Eh, eh. So I mean, y'all got a new album too. I was listening to that shit. Yeah, we got Back in Black. It was produced by Black Mill. Yeah, I and, like that. Um, yeah, man. You, it's, it's, we got to keep busy, man. Yeah. Our, our generation, we never like to stop moving. You know, we got to keep it, keep it pushing because we still, we still do the tours. We see yeah. each other on the tour circuit. So, like when you still got that spark, you go. You Yo, know, if you're a painter, you're gonna you're gonna paint till you, till you can't paint yeah, no more. That's right. 
And, and and salute to Black Milk, man. I mean, he got he got he, peace was hard. He if, got, it fit y'all perfect. Yeah, it fit y'all perfect. It's a good project. I felt like he gave us like a a dark boom bap version of what it would what it is right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But what I what I've been getting from folks is that it's like it it brings him back to the Temple of Boom mm. era of our shit. Like right. it, it's like a style like that. And uh, you know shit. You never know, like when when you put out music, you never know. It's the gamble whether right. it's gonna have impact or motherfuckers are gonna feel in it. Fans, are, but you got your diehard fan. We got our diehard. They right. can always yeah. rock with you. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, so we've been doing this the 30th anniversary, right? That's right. Last year, this is 31. This 31. Year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so we coming on 30th, right? Yeah, y'all coming up on 30, man. Next year. Next year? Yep. Mm. That's right. But I thought it was 92. No, we can't. Our first album's in '91. Oh, so you going yeah. on that? Okay. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So fucking damn. You figure, man. He is, bro. You still got that fire. Hell you yeah. You still got that. How that, many albums you got? Uh, this is ten. This black album is ten. Ten. Yeah. We got one more. It's like the weigh-in and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I'm not how much you weigh. How many albums you got? <laughs> yeah. We got eleven. I mean, you know, eleven. What's crazy is. You know, a lot of us work and we got all all these extra shit, you know, extra shit in the vault and stuff like that. Or, right. you know, we do different side projects. I mean, us as a hip hop community, like yeah. sometimes we don't just stick to our to, to our group or right. whatever. We do we what the do, fuck we want. We do what the fuck we want. <laughs> exactly. Because you know what? We need a creative outlet. Right. right. And not everything fits in this particular thing. Right. It, it, maybe it works over here, but right. not necessarily here. And, and that's what I love about hip hop is that you ain't got to just stick to one fucking thing. Exactly, because if he do a solo album, I do a solo album. My solo albums don't, I don't even sound like the same. You know, Onyx is Onyx. Right. First though, certain, and then Fire stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's so, a sound to this. Right. And over here, there's this distinct thing, and over right. here, and and I think that's the best way because I think you're 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 being an artist, you're being you can't creative. Paint all pictures black and white, you right? Can paint some black and white, some colorful, right. exactly. Some with pastels, some with silvers, and it's the colors are imaginable. It's it's right. unlimited. For instance, it's infinity. For instance, right. the track that we got on together with ASAP Ferg. Are we doing that? Fuck out my face. Yo, that was right. Yeah. Was, was hey, y'all flipped that. Yeah. I had to fucking tell you, man. I hadn't had a chance to tell you, but loved y'all verses no on doubt. that. No doubt, yo. I was thinking about that because we got a record with Ferg. Yeah. So what we doing? We should at least play the record. Split yeah. it down. Sp we'll what? split it it's together. Yeah, we got a record with Ferg, and you know, <laughs> Cypress Hills. That's what I'm saying. All together. Yeah, that'd be dope. Like he predicted yeah. this shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy because you know, like. When I heard y'all verses on that, I was like, hell yeah. Mm. They y'all flipped it. Yeah, because he, he sent us the beat. It was like, da -da -da -da, like it was mad shifty. Yeah, shifty, yeah. I love that. That double time type shit. Yes. Um, if y'all ain't heard it, I don't know where the fuck y'all been at, but you better go hunt it down. You better get the fuck out of my fucking face. That's right. Yeah. Man, I gotta tell you. I, I fucks with with Ferg, man. Like, he he's a stylist. Yeah, you know, like uh, you he know, got the energy too. Yes, his energy right, and, and his style flip is different. Yeah, and he got a voice that cuts through. Yeah, you know, he guys, he has that, he has that deep voice. You know, what I'm saying that, you know, that 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 hip hop voice. Yeah, that energy that that we that kind of like that '90s vibe a little bit. I feel like he could be in the trap world, like you know, in terms of musically and, and also like in the lane that we be in, like yeah. in that that traditional hip hop lane. He's got that. That ability to flip. Yeah, he did a joint yeah. with Primo, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that Primo shit was got a dope. joint. So, yeah. yeah. You know, like like I said, a lot of people that's doing trap is coming back to fucking hip hop beats. It's good. Yeah. You know that's what I'm saying? Shit. You ain't noticed that shit. I heard a, cu a couple, and then I'm gonna keep it real. I heard some down south niggas rhyming on New York beats or East Coast beats, whatever you want to yeah. call it. And it and it and it sounded like to me like how. New York niggas sound on trap beats. Oh shit! Just <laughs> work out. Yeah. I hear you. Your thing. I hear you. <laughs> you know what I'm the yeah. That's just me. It's not oh, exactly oh, where oh. it should be in exactly. terms of pocket. Exactly. Right. That's all. Yeah, you know, because respect, respectfully, it just ain't working. You know, because it always shifts, right? Like the the hip hop always shifts. For a time, there's some some uh, you know grimy. Dirty shit. Then there's a t the time for the clean, polished shit, and then there's the time for the in between, and it's always going in a cycle. 
Mm-hmm. And right now it's going back to the cycle of like that traditional hip hop shit. Shit, I remember the '80s. The '80s sucked. The music in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, the sound, there the was a lot of questionable 80s, music like in the '80s. Keyboards. It was just terrible. <laughs> After '79, I don't know where you know it was like the '80s was cool because they was. It got you know, mad electronic. <laughs> yeah, I like that shit. It got like electro. The DMX drum. Yeah, was that Pat Benatar? Well, you know, there, you know there, there was some gems and then there was some stinkers, too. Boy, boy, George. Oh, yeah. yeah boy, you know boy, what's George. crazy? <laughs> Yo, the hood was fucking with that. Yeah, yeah. They were. Right? Number one. Wow. They did have a number one record. I Shit. For, yeah, all that. We knew all that. It's... Uh, that's it's crazy because come on come on come on come on come on come you'll see motherfuckers yeah. today right that never liked those songs back then <laughs> they like them today they'll be fucking jamming to them that's straight funny. up oh you know what that was the jam what yeah <laughs> are you kidding me right you yeah. not remember when <laughs> yeah that shit is crazy man Yeah, because you know we we saw hip-hop being born right like yeah. we was born before hip-hop was born you know what hip-hop I'm saying? was born the year i was born how old is hip hop? 73, nigga. 73. That's when hip hop was born, when I was born. Mm. That's right. Mm. That's a fact. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man. Hey, man, I'm glad it was born in For 70 real. motherfucking three, because you know what? Had it not been, mm. we ain't sitting at the table. We don't have the runs that we have. Maybe it's perhaps different. Word. You know what I'm saying? So Word. salute to the motherfuckers that created this shit right here yeah. for us. Straight up, hip hop is, is life. This shit is blood in our veins, man. Straight up. Who hurt? May right. 14th, it's about to go down. Some hip hop shit. Some for the culture. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think motherfuckers are excited to see the, the kind of energy we're all going to bring. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got to be. This shit is going to be fun, man. Word. Shit. It's, gonna, it's like it's like right now it's like, you know, Dwayne Wade and LeBron, <laughs> when they was wasn't on the same team, like they still was cool. But when it got time to play the game, it's about okay, let's play the game to win. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure y'all playing the game to win. We playing the game to win. We got. But to. like I said, yeah. our fans are gonna win regardless. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Mom, yo, I like that. Hell that's yeah. all that matters. It's for the culture. We all winning. That's yeah. right, man. At the Great Western, at the old oh, well, it's well, it's called the Kia Forum. Kia now. Forum now, but at the Forum, such a legendary venue. You I was know, thinking what about mean? buying my wife a Kia, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right is she a Kia? Might throw, <laughs> hey, she <laughs> might throw one in there. I don't know what we doing here. We, we should do a song together, right? At the end of the night on May 14th, we should perform that shit. We already got the song, the first song. New song. New song's good too. That'd be okay. dope. I mean, I ain't opposed All right. to a new joint. I, I mean, <laughs> come on. Shit. Hell well, yeah. So let's do it. That would be awesome. I mean, to end... To Eight cap, bars each. To, let's get it. To cap the night off with a joint together, man, man. That's... Hip-hop. That's hip-hop. All right, cool. Let's get the producer. What we doing? We just fumbled the ball, son. We lost he, 10 yards. He got 100 now. Beats. I'm, 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 he's like, we just lost 10 yards, my nigga. They're going the way. Of course, we, we got beats all day. Come on. Oh, no, we'll come up with something. We'll come up with some joke. We'll make sure that we all like it. I'm just saying, you gotta hey. put that energy out there. Shout to Swiss and Timberland yes. for signing off on this shit, like I said. Word. Because, you know, they started this shit. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when I first seen the um, Primo and um, the Rizzo battle, Woo. I was like, they got something with this shit. Yeah. I don't know if that was the first one. I think that was one of the first. One of them. That was the one I was like, yo, this is crazy. Wasn't the And that was through the pandemic. So now it's, this is the biggest and the baddest one because it's at the forum. Yeah. They added the box in. It's gonna be, you know, a lot of it's and gonna the be big. It's is crazy. Over, so this is after the pandemic. So this yeah. is, wasn't the first one uh, Teddy Riley versus Babyface? Was it? I don't know if that was the. First. That was one of the. I think. One of I the think first Primo one. was before that. See, I, I, I like the way that it's it, it's turned into to like the actual sound clash instead of them just sitting there playing songs and be like nodding their head like yeah, yeah I know because the lock set it off the lock, the lock set, set it, it off. Fuck off yo shout to the locks they yes. set it off with that like yeah. and that's what I've been saying it's like yo we do this shit. We going we ain't, we can't do it like that. We just can't over we can't do it like that. We got to give them what we do. And I'm glad we told Trilla we need we need slam dancing niggas in the mosh pits in the front. <laughs> yeah, we don't they, have nobody. They need to be able to un- this unleash this shit going to be crazy, energy. bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know, we had a lot of input on this shit. 
You know what I'm saying? With, with, so shout to everybody at Trilla. I'm going to be in the front. Mine's pinting. That's it. That's right. I ain't yeah. jumping my ass it's, in there. Fuck me that. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's going to be a fucking wild night. That's, I, 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 love, sure. I love this type of shit because it just gives people a different experience that, you know, like no one fucking saw this type of shit coming right here. Especially the format of what Versus is, man. I mean, and, and for Triller to fucking jump on it and be the platform and, and and put all of us on this fucking platform and, you know, give that give that real hip hop. <laughs> it's the, the biggest hip hop stage in the world. Right? Yeah, that's right, man. You can just stay at home, smoke your blunt in the living room and watch it. Or you could be in the metaverse and be right there. You could be in your car anywhere watching this shit. Word. So it's, it's worldwide. It's and um, it's a blessing to still be here, man. So let's light one up. Or if you're like Psycho Less, the biz, B. <laughs> Dead ass. Dead ass, B. Dead, Dead ass, B. Nobody. You already know. Nothing. Word up. Word. Hey, um, let's, we're, we're foregoing the submissions today, so don't get burned out about that. We'll run them tomorrow. Uh, but we're going to open up the um, the insane asylum doors. That means, y'all, so if you got a question, shout out, uh, suggestion, or uh, whatever, um, super chat right now. We invite all of y'all, so let's open it up. Welcome to the insane <laughs> asylum. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. First one up, we got Midget Mike saying Mad Face Midget Invasions, Mike. Salute what Onyx, Legends for Real. These are guys. Say Midget, you're supposed to say Dwarf. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's his, his name. profile that's name. That's his name. <laughs> A dwarf. You know what I mean? Okay. Hey, fuck it. <laughs> you are what you are. That's right. <laughs> Embrace it. Well, we got it's one of those words. We got dwarf Mike back up in here saying <laughs> sticky. Yo, black trash has slept on classic. Man, thank you. Time to wake the fuck up. That's right. And we got Sven up in here. Thank you so much to Sven for the super chat. Thank for you, that. Sven. Sven. We got revamped wrestling up in here saying we got Cypress, Beat Nuts, and Onyx in here. Let's oh, fucking go. Legendary. Yeah. Legendary. <laughs> We got only 714 saying, got my tickets already for May 14th. It's going to be a sick one. That's right. Tight. And we got Miss Angelique saying, the Dr. Green Thumb show coming in with some legends. That's right. And we got Mansoor up in here saying, hell yeah, Be Real is covering boxing as well. It's fire. The legendary Fernando Vargas in the house. Dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. Salute, salute to yeah. Fernando. I, I watched him have some of the fucking... Dopest fights like wars. Yeah, man. Um, it was great to have Legend. him Legend. here. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the shit here. <laughs> you got sound effects. The oh, crazy. crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. And we got the business up in here saying Psycho Leezy's bucket hat is hella fresh. It looks big. It's oh, fresh. Psycholessshop.com. Get your bucket right now. <laughs> And squeeze. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You gotta give them a discount code. Yeah, yeah. The, the discount code is squeeze balls. <laughs> squeeze balls. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a product that's a squeeze ball. Oh shit! <laughs> you probably sell a million. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, squeeze balls. Oh shit! What? <laughs> Next And we got Craig Murphy up in here saying My first concert ever was Onyx, Run DMC, Snoop Dogg, and Dr. Dre In 1993, Rochester, New York Hey, that's a hell of a fucking lineup wow, so right you, there ah. You caught this shit before the tour got shut down Right <laughs> That was probably the first show <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it got shut down? Yes A lot of hip-hop tours would get shut down relatively early, man Wow well, we said shut him down, what? shut him down. Yeah, we wasn't talking was about the tour. <laughs> the Damn. It's for real, man. Y'all about to hit the road again, right? Yeah. Yep. It's dope. It's dope. Hey, man, shit is starting. Up. Yeah, open up. Open up a little more. Yeah. More coronavirus for us. That's all good. Yeah, you know. Fuck, fuck everything. But what fuck up, the bro? coronavirus at this point. Yeah, you know, we all had a chance to reset if we used it properly. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Boom. It's 100%. Next one. 
And we got Rover up in here saying, this energy is dope. Beefing is cool too, but I prefer seeing this type of energy. Yeah, I mean, we would not beef. We're, we're friends. <laughs> I mean, fuck, we've been friends a long time, and we've done many shows, and there's mad respect. It's it's competitive, yeah, for sure. You know, I'm like we we we're bands that go to get it. You know, like whoever we play with, you know, we all try to go to get it. So, um, yeah, it's competitive, but competitive just like sports. Yeah, basketball. But never any beef. These are my brothers, man. Shit, I got on tracks with my bros right here. Oh, yeah. And we got CC up in here saying, "Good to see Onyx back on the scene. Fuck any yeah. new music coming soon?" Hell yeah. Onyx versus everybody. Drops May 13th. Nice. You dropping the day before. Yeah. Is, it, is that true? Oh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, I'll be the same way. Sure. Sometimes I don't know when it's fucking dropping either, man. I don't need, like, people ask me, hey, wait, where are you guys playing next if we're on tour? I'm like, I don't know. Go to right. the website, bro. <laughs> like, you know more than me. Yeah, Shit. exactly. I feel like asking one of the other guys, hey, where, where the fuck we at today? <laughs> well, right. And Next. we got Angels Angels Don't Fall up in here saying the entire album of Temples of Boom still on my top all-time ever list. It's wow. legendary. Thank you. Thanks, Be Real. Singing your songs helped my severe asthma, and it still does. <laughs> right on, Joe. You gotta keep the pump. <laughs> Joe. Yeah. Asthma pump. Oh, yeah. And Angels Don't Fall is up in here again mm -hmm. saying I worked at Sam Goody when I was 16. Slam with Bio was the best single that I bought. But right, my mom threw that... And she's saying, but my mom threw that away, and she threw away my Insane in the Membrane oh, CD as shit. well. You we were to tell your moms to back the fuck up. We were bad influences, B. Damn. <laughs> Killer, man. They was like, wait, what are you what playing? The, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Mom, it doesn't say kill a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Shit. Straight killer. Man. That's, the, that's, the title. Ah, that, that's the title of your record? Yeah. 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 Play. Uh, that's never going to get played. <laughs> never, nowadays? Hell no. Yeah. Killer, man. <laughs> and we got GDP Smoke up in here saying salute to the Buddha Master. I'm about to spark up some secret triangle. Please do. A legendary episode with Vargas and Onyx. Dr. Green Thumb Podcast bringing the heat. And and uh, salute to Triller for bringing us all together like this because um, that's basically how this all happened today. I mean, I've been waiting to get y'all over here regardless. But you just told me to come on over here at the video. Yeah. Yeah, we, you know, we've been trying to get y'all down here regardless, but this is a great reason to celebrate and, you know what I'm saying? Hold so, you all's coming! And you know what? We're doing a, doc <laughs> we're doing a documentary on, on Mosh Pits and Hip Hop. We got to get your perspective oh, of course. on this shit. Because Whatever you need. I, 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 read up, I read a lot of shit already because I, I was doing my homework on it, but I want to hear from you. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they say Mosh Pit start, it started in California. Mm. But niggas at CBG be saying something different. Yeah, I I don't think it started in Cali. I That's think what it, I, heard. I, I think yeah. it it started in those little clubs because yeah. punk, punk rock. Yeah, yeah, punk rock. Yeah. And yeah. then it and then it's bad and, brains. Shout the, the bad brains. And then it oh, blew yeah. out. Those, those from, are the kings of this shit for real. Yeah, and then it blew out from there when motherfuckers you know started playing in other places and they started seeing images of people reacting this way. Yeah. yeah. And then that unbridled energy that happens. Unbridled. Yeah. It, because you think about it, who who would have thought that groups like ours could create that same fucking energy that Absolutely. those punk rock heads and metal heads from the SP twelve hundred from the SP twelve hundred. God damn it! Facts oh, yeah. be. Mm. Hey. I, never, I never thought about it like that's crazy. Crazy from an SP twelve hundred perspective. Like, yeah, you know, like hip hop. We really like we right there. Yeah, right there. Wow. I see it. Hey, first mosh pit I ever saw was at the Soul Assassins tour at the Roseland in New York. Yeah. What year was that? 93. 93. Mm. Mm. Yep. You know, we didn't expect none of that shit. It just started happening that we were like, fuck that it, we going to jump in this bitch too? First, right. I first. fucked myself up too many times, man. Yeah. That was why I cut my hair, right? Mm. I, I, we were in Brazil in 96. <laughs> I had my hair blown out. Oh, I remember. They told me to jump. You know, not to jump in the crowd that they was going to fucking eat me up, right? And I didn't listen. <laughs> right. Uh, you know... We're I'm young. Going to. We're young. We're crazy, right? I yeah. jump oh. out, boom. Sure enough, I take like at least twenty motherfuckers down with me because oh, they weren't ready for the jump. Shit. And the homies are trying to pull me up, and someone's standing on the back of my shit. And I'm oh shit, oh, they must have been heavy. Oh, it was crazy. I had to. 
elbow somebody's knee to, that was to, to get. You almost got killed. I almost got fucking rolled. That yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. But I Damn. survived. And I realized that if if I was gonna jump out there, I got you gotta have a ball. You gotta, ball you gotta have an onyx. You gotta have an onyx, <laughs> you got, right? You, you, you got to have an yeah, onyx. Yeah, hey, <laughs> you gotta have a fresh you onyx. Got baby. To. Number you one right rule: yeah. you know, <laughs> if you go Cinema jump out <laughs> there, empty your pockets, take off your chain, <laughs> and cut your motherfucking hair. I need but, to hear all this on the documentary because this shit is it's, a, it's gonna be crazy. See, but me, oh, yeah. the, floor, the floor is lava. I don't touch the floor ever. I'm a professional <laughs> stage diving motherfucker. You know what I mean? The floor is Walk lava. One hundred. Oh yeah. Floor is lava. The floor like is that. lava. Yeah. Can't no chains. <laughs> yeah. No chains either. Well, yeah. No. Well, because realistically, you know, come back with chains. It, it, you know, <laughs> I, I was a little bit heavier from the time that we started up until that right. point. So like, I took a bunch of motherfuckers down right. with me. Bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Bowling ball. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. All right. That's Next. And we got Take the mighty out. mathematician up in here saying thank you to Onyx. Your music pumps hip hop into my blood. Uh, that's salute, right. Salute. 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 Fusion. And we get got busy five two three up in here saying the most gangster moment in hip hop was when Sticky Fingers shot up the Source Awards. <laughs> hey. Listen, 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 Will. Don't talk to me. I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna do this next time. Hey, you know shit happens. You know. And we got Dwarf Mike back up in here saying, "Fredo and Sticky, who inspired y'all to rap?" That's good. Better be good. The fucking. Better be fucking good. Life, the streets, fucking everything that came before us. You know. You, you engulf all that shit in and you spit it out, you know? And he's also asking, do you have a list of any of your top MCs? Me, myself, and I. <laughs> and Fredro. That's a good list. De La Soul. Hell yeah. De La Soul? Me, myself, and I. Oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. I love it. And we got Glenn the Baker up in here saying, Fredo, Fredo and Sticky Fingers, what up? It's both what, up, what up? What up? Fredo. Both, I'm yes. going to keep it real. I'm high AF right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're with you. Don't think because I got these glasses on that I'm not high with he you. Gave, right now. He gave us the Adidas. He gave, walked there and gave you three strikes. I had the back up <laughs> on. Yeah, I hit that I'm first one. I stopped here. talking for a minute. I said, oh, I can't see the tactic. <laughs> Cypress Hill, got it. <laughs> Fuck it, we gonna jump in with you, my nigga. We going out. I love that. That that was a good term. I, he gave us Adidas, <laughs> the three stripes, the three joints. I love that. that? Facts. <laughs> and we got J Max C up in here saying Onyx in the motherfucking building. That's right. Much love to everybody. <laughs> and we what got. He said much love to y'all. Yo. Yo, love is love, my dude. Bulletproof love, man. Mm. You know, when we started this shit, we that's what we wanted, man. We didn't, we didn't, that's what we wanted was to be, re- to, be to be respected on the mic and make people, you know, have a good time and shit. That's right. That's it. That's how it started. And now we doing verses 30 right. years later. Hell yeah. Crazy, man. That's letting you know that our groups put in work still. Right. That right. motherfuckers would be down to put that shit on and be like, let's put these two motherfuckers. And, and we honored to do it, you guys. Likewise, man. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Yo, I think every rapper sits, when they watch Versus, they like, y'all want to be on it. Even if, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody think, said that. I mean, it's, you have to. You had to. Yeah. If you if you come from the competitive nature, yeah, you could see yourself you in yourself that. You yourself battling arena. somebody. I'll battle yeah. these guys. I'll yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's good that, you know, that we are doing that shit because I sat back and watched it as a fan and now we get to do what we do, what we've been doing for the last That's 30 right. years. And, right. And showing people that sharpness. You know right. what I'm saying? And and connecting new bridges through that shit. Because people that might be watching with their kids or some shit, like, yo, you want to see some real hip hop? Right. These two motherfuckers right here. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, what's, what's your songs you plan on doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Real quick. <laughs> oh, y'all niggas got the merch set. I heard. <laughs> y'all niggas got the merch set. <laughs> Let me see your play. Y'all niggas got the merch set. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, what do you started off with? <laughs> That's funny. Crazy. 
Um, oh shit. shit! I wonder if the motherfuckers before us, you know, if they thought <laughs> that deeply about it, like what? What am I gonna start with against right. these guys? I think so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think. So. I, I think. Th- I, you know what? I, I think, think so. he rocking them because I think it was like freestyle with them. They right. were just playing shit. Them niggas got so much shit. I, I think you're right though. It wasn't until the and locks. Then it gets right. meditated. Right. I, yeah, I think after the locks, it changed the game a little bit. It's yeah. Like, oh shit, wait a yeah. minute. Okay, that's the way. You got. We got to plan this shit out a little bit. Yeah. Like the way they, that they came serious about it. Now you know, with KRS one and, and came, but that was like after that the locks. Yeah, that was after the oh, locks though. Okay. But like, see the way they brought it, they both brought energy. Like you know, right. the locks and brought more. Too. Yeah, and structure. They had it, different fucking uh, uh, sets. Right. The iPhone the five only elements gets better of hip hop. So That's right. Getting, you know, that was the shit. It was like some Broadway ill. Like I'm gonna teach you hip hop simultaneously as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That that was dope. The way they presented it, like they took what the locks did and and it did something like really fucking incredible. They made it work for them. But it made, but the the thing about what the locks did was that it showed that they were ready for this format more than Dipset was ready. I mean, Dipset had hits, but it's just the energy, how these dudes came at them, and like the sharpness. They took it serious. I think. I think they took it a little more serious. Yo, you got to take this serious, yeah, thing because. You know, this is you on a big stage right now. Everybody, you know, get to see what you're doing. So yeah, you, you gotta just make yeah. sure you're rocking. You yeah, you saying? can't come with I'm low a, energy. Like, man, young black and just don't give a fuck. I just want to get high, live it up, all that shit. Yeah, be right with it. Yeah, I mean, how how you gonna make them feel it if you ain't feeling it, right? What? Right. You know, first and foremost, you gotta do it for yourself. Yeah. Fuck everybody else. They come. Yeah. Okay. Fix your mask first. Be in that moment. If you doing it for them. You never gonna be the illest. You gotta right. go for your fucking self. That's right. Impress yourself. Mm-hmm. That's Raise right. Raise your own bar. That's why I wrote the movie. Cause I'm like, ah, right, the fuck else I'm gonna kill. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta challenge yourself. You gotta keep challenging yourself, mm-hmm. and that means more work, more bars, more writing, yeah. all that shit, man. I, and 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 for any young artist who's trying to do this, man, I tell you, that's the shit that that keeps you like evolving is continuously. Working on your craft. And working with different people, too. Like, mixing it up and just... Because, yo, back in the days, I be digging I be digging mad wax, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You look on the album cover, they be all... They be working with each other. All the... All, mad collaborations. This, mad yeah. collaborations. Yeah. You know, yeah. fucking the musicians roll. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you would find certain players that you liked off looking at the back of these records. Like, oh, shit, that, he was right. on that right. other album I liked. Right. Ron Carter. Oh, okay, I don't know. He's playing over this. Half of the time, they'll be on tour also together. Yeah, so on tour, chill. Them songs will work on tour and shit. Well, jazz was hip-hop before hip-hop was hip-hop. You know, yeah. hip-hop yeah. was the cool shit. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't, it's just, don't, it just means the cool don't, shit. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, that's, that's real shit, though. I mean, when you think about it, jazz was even talking about weed. Like way back in the fucking forties and shit like that, mm. and they were like, aside from reggae, talking about weed and their shit. You know, they called it reefer and all this other shit. And uh, psh, reefer, it's it's always been there. <laughs> reefer. Jazz cigarettes. My pops used to smoke reefers. Reefers. Mm. <laughs> and the yellow envelopes. Yeah. yeah reefer with, with the seeds <laughs> in it. And they called them lids. <laughs> Hey, let me get a lid. Oh. <laughs> you got a, a, a ounce of weed for $10. That was a lid. <laughs> Fucking crazy. All right, next. Oh, man. And we got Jason up in here asking Fredro, did you do your own sex scenes in Moesha? Oh, shit. <laughs> Um, we didn't have no sex. I'm about to say, like, <laughs> that was a trick that question. Was on, that was on 13. That man. was a trick question. That was PG 13, man. Stop yeah. playing. I, I see where your mind is at. <laughs> Dirty you be on Pornhub too much. <laughs> yeah, Are you sure that ain't Sun Doobie? <laughs> <laughs> and we got Midget Mike back up in here saying, can't end today without five mini flips, B. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, I got to do these flips here. Hey, um, hold on. Hey, Ton, I need you to bring the concentrates for the flips on this goddamn thing. <laughs> Fill me up here. Oh, you want me to fill you up? Right. I will not fill you up. I'm not like that, You're Ryan. Though. I'll fill up your cup. <laughs> You're Ryan. You know what I want, You know, you know what I want, Yo, where that, that Snapple at, man? <laughs> Snapple facts. <laughs> All right. That's, that's so Better get your Snapple facts. I'm going to have to do a, a flip on this thing right here, guys. Do it. Something to drink, bro. Hey, give me some, too. They got something. That's my man, Ryan, man. Ryan Pinkle, man, the cameraman. But, um... 
Right. Y'all fuck with bourbon, I'll pour you some of this bourbon oh, hell, shit. I gotta drive I, I gotta drive home. This weed is yo, this Psycho shit. Less no. special. God. I should have took an Uber. <laughs> I, should've t- I knew I should have took an Uber. Oh, there it goes. All right. Here, oh, slide it on down. What do you mean? Oh, that's oh, a Cali shit. Blaze jar. That shit look like some Damn, ashes, what is that? nigga. That's like a hockey puck. Mm. Uh, this is all concentrate. Oh, man. That look, that look like. Oh, hell. That looks like cookie dough. It's in a jar. Looks like cookie butter. It's delicious in a different way. It's. Oh, you about to do the um? Yes, yeah, that's, that's yeah. You know, cause we take re- requests from some of these oh, folks, and they ask me to do five flips, and this is so. It's unfortunately for me. No, fortunately, fortunately for me. There you go. A part of the show. This motherfucker that's stuck dope. too. And what if twenty people tell you to do that shit? Oh, then they're asked out. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I ain't doing that shit. Up to a certain amount. Up to a certain amount. That shit right there. That shit ain't a joke. I got one stripe left. That's like one, one, <laughs> one hit is like one hit is like smoking a joint in like one time, like yep, basically. What the fuck happened here? Ten it, you don't fuck with it? What? What's that? This shit right. You don't fuck with it? In the crib. Yeah. In the crib. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. He's oh. in the crib. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, while I'm getting this together, y'all can uh, you can go to the next one, Bolton. Next one. And we got Gorilla Strong up in here saying, as a day one fan of both Cypress Hill and Onyx, I'm thankful to both groups for being a central part of the soundtrack of my life. Blessings and love. Thank That's you. right. Life music. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Life we- music. That's what we make because we come from that life and, and, and we are the voices of it at the time that we are, you know what I'm saying? And... and uh, Street Motherfuckers music. grew up to our shit, like all of our shit right here, man. And and uh, we was just talking about the life, hood music, hood music, Word. good hood music. <laughs> <laughs> all right. True. I'm gonna have to do this now, y'all. You keep it moving. I can. Yeah. We, next one, Colton. So and we got like midget. Mi- we got midget Cheers. Mike back up in here saying, "Fragile versus throw on that see you in hell record." Mm-hmm. What do you say? What does oh, that mean? Oh, your verse on, on that See You in Hell record. Oh, yeah, See You in Hell, yeah. That was a crazy record. These ass niggas is jail. It's too hard to tell. I like X1 verse on that, though. Mm-hmm. X1 had the verse, so he, he was he was that nigga on there. Nah, Rest in peace to X1, man. Still. Rest in peace to X. <laughs> and next up in here, we got Miss Angelique saying the Dr. Green Thumb show coming in with some legends. Mm-hmm. That's right. What up, homie? And right. we got Crazy Main up in here saying, what up to Snacks? Eep! Onyx is dope. <laughs> and we got The Crossing up in here saying, Cypress Hill plus Onyx, it's going to be 100. Uh, yeah. Indeed. And we got Freshco for Life up in here saying, we need a Cypress Hill featuring Onyx featuring Tech 9 Trap. Mm, he ain't wrong. First. That would be crazy. That'd be dope. Now we're going crazy with it. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? We with, we with all the smoke. You see all the smoke? <laughs> is it? What? There goes your five pack. <laughs> ah, there he is, Kelly Blaze. There goes your five pack. God right. damn. So you, you, you did that five times? Yeah. Five yeah. flips. Five flips. Oh, Here, let me give you a... I'll, I'll do Rewind two more. It look like three. Seven's three. a better number. God, here we go to God the God number. number. <laughs> Rakim taught us that too. He did. Yeah. That was six. Yeah, that's amazing how this shit could just do that, yo. Yeah. Somebody was really thinking Physics. when they made that. Yes, gravity. Yeah. Oh, that's gra- the same shit they the gravity, gravity piece, yeah. Shit, kinda mm-hmm. like. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. We do it with concentrates though instead of flour because it tastes better. Yeah. The, the, stronger too. Yeah, stronger, but the flour gets it feels like it tastes like it gets stale. Mm. Yeah. It, in, Cleaner high. That yeah. doesn't that did that doesn't taste good. But when you fuck with this shit right here, flavor. That, that, that shit made you higher? Yeah. Hell yeah. No, no, yeah. I'm right there. Straight flavor. Right there. Kind of right there. Stand up. We we can only get us so high, right? True. Right? Hey. I mean, no, you can't OD on no. weed. No. True. You can put yourself to sleep. One day I ate an edible. I thought I was going to be the first person to OD on weed. I <laughs> edibles <laughs> edibles could do that. that. Edibles can do that. Especially if they tell you, like, because we all go through this and nobody does not go through it. Don't but eat the whole. Don't eat the whole shit. Edibles could do that. Edibles could do that. that that's, that's what I told her. You feel like you're melting or what? <laughs> you make you rethink shit. <laughs> it might make you feel like you're having, like, a psychedelic. Thing. I don't fuck. Sure. I don't fuck with the edibles. Yeah. I, don't, I don't fuck with it. I, I I did for a time, and I do occasionally, but not like 
frequently as yeah. as I have in the yeah. past. Right. <laughs> Do you got any more up there, Bolton? Yeah, we got a couple here. I got right. Garcia up in here saying, where I'm from, Cypress Hill, Onyx, Beat Nuts are legends. They had billboards in Queens and Brooklyn. I saw flyers. My older brother, because of Onyx, had house parties back in the day. That's right. That's for sure. And we cheers, got cheers. Midget Mike back up in here saying, Judgment Night, still a classic record today. That's right. And we share that bridge right there. Right. I mean, I tell you, the connection is just, it's been there since day one. That was a crazy soundtrack. That was. Hey, who, who did y'all do yours with again? We did ours with Sonic Youth and Pearl Jam. Right, I know that. And okay. then and then you guys did yours with Biohazard, yeah. and House Pain did theirs with Helmet. Yeah, that was an ill fucking. Don't be bringing Sonic Youth and fucking Pearl Jam to the fucking shit. Man. Oh no no no, no. <laughs> they would not come down. <laughs> they would not come. No, down. they ain't gonna come down. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, that is. <laughs> Listen, you do that. They gonna, no. like, oh, they gonna play some shit for me too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Live. No, that hey, that was the illest one of the illest soundtracks. That was like, yeah, that was, was the, the one of those. Nobody did that. And the movie was dope too. Yeah. And the movie was the dope. The movie was good. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was that was ill. Judgment, Judgment Night. Night. Yeah, Everlast was in that shit. He was, was one he? of the, yeah, he was one of the thugs in the Irish gang that was chasing the dudes right. on the fucking you know uh, I'm gonna go watch this shit tonight. Yes. I go wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's in there. <laughs> that, was a good idea. that was a good movie. He eventually gets killed in the movie, but he's yeah. I think right. I, I remember that he does, yeah. Boom, Sherlock Lock. Because he's one of the bad now. guys, yo, and you know how it is. Sometimes the bad guys get murked in the movie. All right, next. And that seems to be it. Oh, and that seemed to be it. What well, that's that it. We want to thank y'all for your super chats and um, being here with us on the Dr. Green Thumb Show. Uh, make sure you smash that like before you leave. Leave comments or that. Subscribe and uh, fuck with my peoples right here. Yo, Onyx yo, in yo. the building. We love the fucking Dr. Green Thumb Show. Holla. Real talk. Fish you yes. ass. Honey mad in the building. That's right, man. Oh, well, it, was, it was great to have y'all up in here, man. Yeah. I think people that... that Love our bands because they grew up to both of our, both of our bands. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, it's it's a great experience, and I'm glad y'all came in, man. Psycho oh, less. Yeah. Nah, we here, baby. You know what I'm saying we here. It's going down for the culture. This nigga ain't psycho less. He's psycho more. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you got some things. Yeah, he's psycho more. <laughs> that's right. No doubt. You ain't wrong. The, yo, this is for the culture, man. And um, that's all I can say, man. This is hip hop. And this is the hip hop that I grew up on, hip hop that I love. Shout to shout to everybody out there. We're out here. Sticky, you got any shout outs? Yeah, man. Peace to Earth. That's right. The flat earth. This guy. Absolutely. Steph <laughs> walk sideways or upside down. Of course it's flat. We we got a homie uh Steph Tone from the Deftones. Uh, I walked on around. We call him oh, the yeah? streets before. He walked around the hood. Fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 Salute to the strong one. Yeah. If he's out there tone. watching. Y'all got that in common, for real. Um, uh, C minus. Yo, thanks everyone for hanging out with us. It's good to have you guys on the show. Appreciate it. Looking forward to the 14th of May, man. Thank you for having us, man. Hell yeah. Uh, Psycho Leezy, Be Real, Colton, uh, Ra Ra, The Dominator, Javi Lopez, everybody, we've the Vargas brothers, uh, and Fernando Vargas as well, OG, uh, respect. Um, thanks to everyone that's watching and hanging out. You can go catch me tomorrow morning. Uh, Kitchen Sink Crew uh, doing a mix on Twitch, 9 a.m. Can't never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> you catch well, you catch me on Twitch at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time doing a mix. And then tomorrow we're also in the mix after the the Green Thumb Show. Myself, Be Real, Psycho, Leezy, and Javi Lopez will be spinning tomorrow after the show as well mm. and go to uh see you guys tomorrow everyone have a good one psycho Lizzie, you got some shouts word up shout out everybody watching out there um, shout out to the fam in the crib shout out on onyx and shit on um, be real and go check for the merch the psycho less shop.com follow me on on the ig psycho less dot official and say squeeze balls <laughs> Damn. Yo, Iceman, what we doing? Iceman, what we doing? Yo, what's poppin', man? We out of here, man. How? Bolted. Shout out to the Insane. Yo, Perry Papa Dacos, better have my shows, man. <laughs> Perry. Oh, we gonna Perry. take them to Boston Perry. and they gonna get robbed. Oh, fuck. You Malaka. <laughs> <Yeah>. Malaka. <laughs> Malaka.
Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shop Film. Shout out to the Dominator. And don't forget, tomorrow at 420, we got the Granddaddy Funkies dropping. Yeah, funky Phil right. Tips, www.funkyphiltips.com. <laughs> kind of high after those five flips right now. That was seven. <laughs> seven. That's right. Boom. He got me. Thank you. The God number. Word up. Hey, salute to everybody out there getting down with us. All right. Monday through Friday, we do this live, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 Eastern. And uh, we send y'all love and positivity and good vibes. No boof, no negative energy. You know what I, know what I mean? Go visit those Dr. Green Thumb dispensaries here in Cali. They got some insane flavors in them. That is the brand. And put your hands up that you shoot with. That's right. That's right. And smoke that shit. And we also got the Dr. Green Thumb bags, new drop. They're available now in the dispensaries. Uh, yes, visit them, enjoy them, soak up them, them flavors. You know Word, what I'm saying? Get that, cop that. You That's right. That. And join us April 16th for the grand opening of LAX Dr. Green Thumb right here. Um, oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yes, we'll be popping off over oh, there. man. Uh-huh. Oh, take it right off the flight. <laughs> yeah. Get it right there. Yeah, come right. on. Oh, wow. Now it's feeling like Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah we're close. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're better than Amsterdam. Well, you know, they already got the red and the blue light district. I, I, I'm saying like this. It's 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 Canada. <laughs> no, we better, yeah. Like, Amsterdam is a great place, but we've surpassed it because it's it's just it's more acceptable here than it is there now. You know, like they've, they, 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 they still suppressed it suppress it down there the yeah. whole really? culture and all that oh, shit. shit um in terms of you know the, the fucking legality with Cali. yeah the well fuck Cali. politicians and all that shit they don't allow it to thrive like it does here right and uh you know one day maybe they'll get there but right now shit we right, smoking in cali we right here in cali and and other states of the united states got this shit locked too man so um, we're good. Shout out to the it U.S. Relate to that. Salute to all y'all motherfuckers out there that made that happen. But um, yes, spread love. Love is the key. No negative shit. We'll see you tomorrow. And remember, May 14th uh, at the Kia Forum. Right here. You know what I'm saying? I knew that. <laughs> I like Thank you Kia. for the assist. Kia got some shit, though. Thank you. Yeah, it does. They got some shit. I mean, it, and that's the historical place, too, man, the forum, man. We're going to put it down in a good place, man. So uh, stay in a good place. Stay smoking that good, good. No boof, all right? One. One. <laughs>